chose the wind, which is the south, south, southeast wind blowing about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Victor Ike on one side and Irvis Hill, a defensive back, who is back to receive the kickoff from Tim Duncan. And it'll be Oklahoma kicking off. We're about set to go. Duncan approaches the ball and we're underway. Oklahoma, Texas, a booming kick with the wind. Goes deep into the end zone and will be touched back. Actually, Victor Ike actually stepped down the back of the end zone. So the Longhorns have the ball first, and they'll begin from their own 20-yard line. Chris Sims will be at quarterback. We expect Ivan Williams to be the running back. And with, along with uh, Matt Trussell, Trussell from Teague, Texas. We haven't heard much about him. He is a uh, two-year letterman junior. And uh, Roy Williams and B.J. Johnson, the two wide receivers. Murph? Sooners have lined up with 13 out there uh, for the kickoff also, as K-State did last week, to get their groupings in and out. All right, Texas now with uh, one back behind the quarterback Sims. Now Ivan Williams is the back the man in motion is Scaife who started to tie in. Chris Sims, quick flat pass caught by Roy Williams at the 19 to the 25 yard line. That was a flat pass to the near side. Man in motion went away from uh, where the pass was thrown. So Roy Williams make his first catch and Roy Williams makes the first tackle and it is the same guy. That uh, was the way they started the game off against Tech. They got the ball to Williams four or five times for short gains in their opening drive. I think that it, uh, they got so much confidence in him it settles things down for them. B.J. Johnson wide to the right side. Roy Williams, or rather B.J. wide left. Roy Williams wide right. Double tight end, Scaife and, and Edwards. Handoff goes to Williams. He's over the left side and gets very close to the first down at the 29 as he went to the left. Teddy Lehman tripped him up. So this big running back, Ivan Williams, could be a problem. He has really got some uh, momentum going after about the third step, Merv. Well, he really does. He cut underneath Teddy. Again, Teddy is so fast, he overruns a few things. I didn't like what I saw on the line of scrimmage there. They wadded the uh, center defensive lineup pretty good out there on the edge. Benson checks in, replacing Williams. Single tailback on the third and less than a yard, just shy of the Texas 30. We're just underway. Here's Sims on the quarterback sneak. Big pile up in the middle, I believe. He did get the first down just at the 30-yard line. So Texas has their first first down at their own 30-yard line, having gone to the pass on first down, then a run to Williams on second down, and a quarterback sneak to pick up the first down on third bound by Sims. No score, just underway, Oklahoma and Texas, 13-40 to go in the first quarter. That uh, huge defensive line of theirs that you talked about a while ago is not only huge, they're very good. Offensive they line. people speaking. well. Offensive line, excuse me. All right, the... Uh, Texas Longhorns have two wide receivers to both sides now. One back behind Chris Sims. Williams is back in there at that position. Sims a three-step drop, flat pass caught, and tackled in the backfield for a nice, nice one-on-one -on -one tackle by Roy Williams. B.J. Johnson made the catch at the 28, so a loss of two on the flat pass to the near side. Very similar to the first play of the game when they completed one to Roy Williams on the Texas side for 25 yards. That's a two-yard loss to B.J. Johnson. You know, it's just sort of as if they're probing, feeling, seeing what they're going to get right now. Uh, and I think that's what you'll see out of the Sooner offense, too. This game is brings so much to the table. You don't want to do anything stupid early. One wide receiver to both sides. One to one side, one to the other. Double tight end. Sims changing play at the line. From the 28, 12 yards to go second down. Sims. Gives to Williams over the, he yes. hits the backfield, and Harris hit him initially, and he's down after he picks up two to the 30. Good momentum by Ivan Williams after he was initially hit by Tommy Harris. Well, that Harris is playing well for a true freshman. He really is. It's very difficult to single block him with one one blocker. He shaded this side to the center, and uh, on the snap of the ball, he was gone. They gave him to the 32-yard pickup, so it's a third and 10. This is a key play we would think early. Now you see a different grouping of centers in their own defense now. Three wide receivers left, one wide receiver right, and no tight end. Sims under center. Williams behind him. Sooner stunning a bit on defense. From the 30 in Texas territory. The pitch, the sweep left side, and a flag. They're going to stop the plays. Texas was moving before the ball was snapped. Tony Jeffrey was in at flanker, got the pitch sweeping left. And uh, they stopped the play before it could get too far, so that means a penalty on the offense. The illegal procedure moves it back to the 25 and brings up third and 15. Or as their defensive uh, three-man front that the Sooners use, but I think when the Sooners use it, they're going to blitz more. They bring both inside linebackers and occasionally people from the outside. They uh, they will press. They will make you think they're going to just defend it with only three people rushing, and then they will bring a lot more people into the mix as they did then. Kyle Shanahan, who is the son of Mike Shanahan. 
who was an assistant at Oklahoma, now the coach of the Denver Broncos. Three wide receivers left, empty backfield, two wide receivers right. On the third and 15, the blitz is on, the pass is caught in the flat. That's Williams, Roy Williams up to the 32 and brought down, it'll be fourth down and eight. He did 15, got to about seven. Corey Clyde ran out to get him. Raymond missed him for a loss, a big loss. So it's, uh, the Sooners really had that play defense well, we'll put it that yeah, way. They really do. Of course, you know, it helps uh, when you run that play yourself a lot. Uh, you see a lot of it in practice. Bradford is the uh, kicker, averaging about 42 yards per kick. He's a good kicker, kicking into the wind here. From the 32, Curtis Fagan deep, rushes on, the kick is in the air. It's a wobbly kick, coming up, taking it as Fagan. At the 36 to the 40, hit hard and wrestle down way back to 34, but he'll get forward progress all the way up to the 41. So a pretty good return for Fagan. Uh, Murph, your comments? I think that certainly that was a great start for the Sooners. Uh, Chris Tony, perhaps, and Mark Clayton will be making his second start at wide receiver, we understand, along with Curtis Fagan. Now the Sooners break their huddle. Offensive huddle on the far side. So Chris Tony is not in there. It'll be Savage in there, so an extra... Savage, Fa Savage, Fagan, and Clayton along with Trent Smith. Two split to the right. Man in motion is Fagan from right to left. Shotgun formation from the 41 in Sooner territory. Hibble, swing pass, caught by Griffin behind the line at the 40. Flag is down at the 45. And it's going to be uh, holding on Frank Romero. The flag was thrown just as Griffin made the catch and swept around the left side for a pickup of about five or so. But I think it'll be called back, Murph. It sure is, uh flag went out immediately and uh, it did look like that the defender was uh, sort of more or less drugged down behind either from behind either with a hold or maybe a clip it's a hold looks like not a good way to start the game for Oklahoma no, really offensively it. that was John Laurie it just announced the penalty to the crowd we hope to have him mic'd where we can hear him a bit later but the, the penalty moves the ball 10 yards back to the 31 so it's a first and 20 for the Sooners, no score, 10.46 to go in the first period. Oklahoma and Texas, the 96th renewal. Texas had their first offensive thrust, got one first down and punted away. And the Sooners on first down, guilty of holding. Now we have a discussion going on. The referee and the field judge are discussing things. That's Jeff Lambeth and John Laurie. Want to get things straight. They have a little huddle now. The officials do right at the 30-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the 31. Don't know what the discussion could be about. Do you have any idea, Mark? I really don't either. They're all, it came from the side opposite to change. There's no problem with them. Uh, Looks right. like we're ready to go now. Fagan, wide right. Trent Smith splits wide right. Two wide receivers left. Savage and, and Clayton. Shotgun formation. Griffin to the left of Hibble from the 31. Is 20 yards to go. Several passes caught in heavy traffic and a loss. Back to the 25. Griffin made the catch on the shovel pass and Marcus Tubbs was reading the mail or something because he was waiting for him and the loss is five yards back to the 26 is where they'll spot. That's the problem I was alluding to earlier that uh, our young center was going to have. That big uh, gorilla is going to line up on him uh, every single play and he just drove him straight back into Quentin right then and uh, really everything else opened up perfectly. Well, he is big, too. I mean, <laughs> that uh, defensive front. Three-man front for Texas. Now it's second and 14, or actually second and 26, as we refigure, from the 26-yard line in Sooner Territory. Shotgun formation. Hibble back to pass. Good protection. Throws near side. Caught by Clayton at the 32. Gets away from one man. Dodges and over with the 35. To the 40. To the 45. And close to the 50. What a great run by Clayton. Oh, boy, that was great. Mark Clayton from Arlington, Texas. Out duped and broke two tackles, Merv, including including uh, Quentin Jammer, who's on the Thorpe watch list. He got from the 26 to the 49, 23 yards on the play. That's why they've been wanting to get him in there. That's why I was surprised earlier in the year, Bob, he wasn't returning punts because he's very difficult to tackle. He's quick and shifty. And the thing that Coach Spurrier really likes about him is he's got a lot of endurance. He can play uh, the whole game if he has to. Now the fullback, Tony, is in there as Clayton goes out, and the ball is at the uh, 49. It is a third down play, and about a yard, yard and a half to go. Shotgun formation. Hibble backs up, looks, fires down the middle, caught first down to Fagan, tackle at the 46, maybe the 45, a slant pattern across the middle, about a five-yard pickup, and the Sooners overcame a second and 26. Mark. That's, uh, that's a wonderful uh, momentum gainer right there to be able to do that because uh, in this kind of a game, uh, that's just a horrible way to start off, and to overcome it, uh, I think, shifts all the momentum to your favor. 
So the Sooners have the ball in Texas territory for the first time at the 45. 9.05 to go first quarter, no score. Two wide receivers right, that's Trent Smith and Fagan. And two left, Savage and Clayton. Under center for the first time, Miss Hibble. He pitches to Quentin Griffin, sweeping right side. Cuts the corner, can't quite make it. He went around the corner, got a couple of yards, but could not beat Derek Johnson from Waco, Texas. 18 6 4 2 15. Pretty good speed for a true freshman. Parade uh, All-American. A teammate of uh, Vince Carter, by the way, of the Sooners. But he picked up about three, I believe. Let's see where they mark it, Murph. There are two linebackers out there today wearing number 11 that can just flat fly, Bob, which is no surprise. We knew that coming in, but... Uh, he and Teddy Lehman, we need to get them out next spring and race them. <laughs> the ball is at the 43. They need to get to the 35 for the first down, so it's about eight yards to go. A little less than that, actually. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers left. Blitzing this time, Hibble throws the ball away as he was out of the pocket, and it's an incomplete pass. Texas fans wanted an intentional grounding, but Hibble used his uh, brain there, didn't he? Well, I hope he did. Uh, there's no flag, thank goodness. You know, that's a rule in the pros, and I don't know, uh, getting out of the pocket, whether it matters to a college quarterback that much or not. In college, they need to be somebody uh, over there, and maybe maybe it is the call. I don't know. Clayton is out of the lineup, replaced by Chris Tony. Sooners now face a third down play at eight. They're 101 on third down conversions, and this there at the Texas 43-yard line, need to go to the 35 for the first down. Shotgun. Two wide receivers left. Savage wide of the left. Or rather wide of the left is Savage and two to the right. Shotgun. Hibble gets the snap. He looks upfield. Still looking. Looks now still rolling to his right. Lobs a pass downfield. And for overthrows Griffin at the 25. And uh, there is a... Uh, no, that's just a spot. This receiver stepped out of bounds. I thought there. he stepped about out of bounds and yeah. came back in. So he, even if he caught it, it would uh, not have been allowed. Yeah, he was marking the spot in the event. He did catch the ball. So the Sooners run... Uh, get one first down and run out of bounds and have to punt, just as Texas did. They ran, uh, got one first down and had to punt away for 32 yards. Jeff Ferguson, second leading kicker in the Big 12, 46.2 yard average, tremendous average. Nathan Vasher from Texarkana back to receive for Texas standing. Well, actually, now he's come up. They don't have a deep man back. Ferguson, back to kick. Punts the ball downfield. Be a bound at the eight and skips into the end zone. Didn't have that uh, wedge type bounce that you look for. He was hoping it would hit and bounce straight in the air. It skipped and rolled in as only a football will. And it'll be Texas for the second straight time, starting from our own 20. We have a timeout. Every game other than the OU game and their bowl game. All right, Texas has two wide receivers left, one to the right. And we have a tight end on the right side, and that is Bo Scaife. Chris Sims under center. The only back behind him is Williams. He gives the ball to Williams, veering to his right. Pretty good hole. He is crippled up by straight. And by Teddy Lehman, but not before he had gotten a yard or two from the, he started about eight yards back of the line of scrimmage, got the handoff, so he gained a lot of yards or ran a lot of yards, but only got two yards from the line of scrimmage up to the 22. They have their their tailback pretty deep in the backfield. Yeah, they do. He's not really a, a terrifically fast back either. He's a, He's done a great job. He's big and powerful, but he's not one you often see lined up that deep. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right, same formation. Scaife again tied in on the right. Second and eight for Texas from their own 22. You suspect pass here. Layman showing blitz. Does not back now up. And the blitz is on. And Calmus has him in sacks him. Calmus with a sack. And it's all the way back. Depends on where they put it down at the 11. I think it's where they're going to mark it. Boy, Calmus lightning fast in there. That's 14. At the 14 is where they'll spot it. Second sack on the season. Eight yard loss. And Calmus, a uh, big, big play, and now it's third down play in 16. You notice uh, this is the kind of thing, the way they work on it, too. You see Lehman up there giving it away, and Calmus kind of back there hiding, and they think, well, we found it. We got Lehman. We picked him up, and they forgot about Calmus. He's a little bit hidden back there, so they do some neat tricks with those linebackers. Three wide receivers to the, well, two to the left and one to the right, and Scaife is tied in on the left. Long yardage here, Sims. Drops back to pass, good protection this time. Throws up field, and it's caught by Roy Williams. Depends on the spot, and uh, he's still fighting. I thought he was down, but he's up to the 35-yard line. And a great run by Roy Williams of Texas. Boy, that was uh, that was caught near the sideline at the 31-yard line, or 30. And it looked like he was down, but he kept fighting, battled his way up to the 37-yard line. So there is a gain from the 14 of 23 yards up to the 37. Wow, that hurt. Yeah, you know, the most impressive thing to me about that was... Uh, him not allowing him to take the ball away from him. Someone came in there and had a great grip on it, and he is so strong they couldn't get it away from him. That's the second Texas first down 
picking up the long yardage. They have it at their own 37-yard line. Chris Sims under center. Ivan Williams behind him. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Steve tied in on the right. Here's Sims raising up back to pass. Good protection. Looks, throws, caught, and now it's down incomplete. Teddy Lehman hit the intended receiver, Victor Ike, immediately, and he couldn't hold on to the ball. Second and 10, Texas from their own 37, with 6.29 to go first quarter and no score, OU Texas. That's his first incompletion of the day, Murr. You're getting, getting some uh, pretty good pressure there. Our two tackles kind of got tangled up with each other and really weren't factors, but Jimmy Wilson from the left end spot was able to put some pretty good pressure on him they were in a four-man front it looks like they're going to a three-man front here about two wide receivers left one to the right the one to the right is roy williams it's second and ten from the texas 37 tight end left is scaife that's bo scaife who's six three here's sims about a five-step drop throws a bullet pass caught by roy williams at the in oklahoma's territory at the 46 and the ball was pulled free by an Oklahoma player, but it was after he was down. And they'll mark it at about the Oklahoma 40. We're waiting for it, the 45. Boy, that's Roy Williams. He, he has got glue for fingers, and he latched onto a perfect pass and an 18-yard pickup. Well, he's such a big target, and he runs just like the smaller receivers. But when you get in a rebound uh, competition with him, he's going to win. And again, a while ago, I was so impressed with his great strength. Texas in, in Oklahoma territory for the first time now at the Oklahoma 45. No score first period. Again, the one back behind Sims. And we have double tight end this time. Here's the give to Williams coming to the right. Gets by one tackler. And then we have a holding call in the backfield on Texas, I believe. Dvorak, the, the freshman. Uh, uh, Dvorak makes the stop. Matthew Anderson apparently was was holding in the backfield, and Texas will be penalized because Williams picked up a couple of yards on that run to the right. Dvorak got the same kind of a penetration jump that uh, Tommy Harris did a while ago. He got held. He didn't make the play, but he really strung it out for everybody else. That'll move it from 145. 10 yards, replay, first. That was John Laurie, sort of. <laughs> a little intermittent microphone there. We've had, let's see, there's our fifth game, and the referee's mic has worked in one perfectly. Do I sound bitter? Second down and 20 for Texas from their own 45. 5.46 to go first quarter, no score. Tight end on the right is Scaife. Two wide receivers left, and one to the right from the Texas 45. 20 yards to go on a first down play. Chris Sims appears to be changing the play. Sooners showing blitz. Flags are flying as the Sooners, I think, encroached. Dusty Dvorak uh, may have uh, hit the neutral zone before the ball was snapped, in which case that will be a five-yard penalty against Oklahoma. Here's offside Sooners, as we called it. So it, second penalty of the day against the Sooners. That moves the ball up to the 50 and brings up a first and 15 for Texas. 5.31 to go. Sooners have some new offensive or defensive linemen in. Barry Holloman is in, in place of Corey Klein and Dusty Dvorak in the place of Tommy Harris. Matt McCoy is in it uh, now as an extra defensive back as uh, Brandon Moore leaves the lineup. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Shanahan and Johnson to the left. Sloan Thomas to the right. Tight end is Scaife on the left. Four-man Sooner front from the 50. Sims, five-step drop. Looks, he's hit, he's sacked. Williams. And that is uh, Roy Williams. I mean, no, 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 no. Right. Not Roy Williams. Jimmy Wilkinson from defensive right end. That's my bad, Bob. We've got too many Williams in the game. <laughs> That's right. I got one. <laughs> Mike Williams uh, took the 345-pound Mike Williams on, and uh, Jimmy Wilkerson gets the sack. And we'll see which one that lost five yards. That puts it back at the Texas 45, brings up second and 20. We're seeing some good defense here today. Guys uh, are giving great effort in their in their pass rush, and against those big old hogs they got on the offensive line, that's a day's work. Now, don't think it's done. Antonio Perkins in the lineup now for the Sooners. Texas has it spread out. One wide right, two wide left. Tight end on the right from the Texas 45. Sims draw play. And for the left side, they have him at the line of scrimmage. And down right there. Dvorak. That's Dvorak got the tackle on Ivan uh, Williams. Diesel made the carry and virtually no game. Let's see where they mark it. Two of three on third down situations. Empty backfield here for Texas on a third and 20 from the Texas 45. Now, Victor Ike is the single back. He goes in the backfield behind Sims from the 45 in Texas territory. Sims, a long drop this time and a good protection. He'll throw a long pass and it's intercepted at the 40, 45, 50. That's Wolfolk at the 40, 35, 30, down the sideline to the 25. 
Andre Wolf was playing quarterback on the right side. Picked it off at the 40. Took it away from Roy Williams. And a big play defensively by Andre Wolf. Ball at the Texas 23. And Bob, you just can't go to the same receiver every time in third down. Uh, you know, people, uh, people uh, get to where they really play it. Well, great field position for the Sooners as Wolfolk, who's been playing both offense and defense, playing only defense today, and uh, he made his presence felt, I'll tell you. 37-yard return after the INT, the ball at the 23-yard line in Texas Territory. First down, and Damian Mackey, first time he's played in three weeks. He's in the lineup for Oklahoma. He's in the slot left. Two wide receivers to both sides. Shotgun formation from the Texas 23. Nate Hibble gets the snap, looks Blitz is on, swing pass, threw it away in the far side. Texas had it very well covered, intended for Griffin out of the backfield. Coy Redding, defensive end, makes the uh, good coverage, and so it's second and 10. Coy, uh, Corey Redding is 260 pounds, 6'5", he's defensive end. Kalen Thornton, 270, he's the defensive right end. Then they have uh, Maurice Gordon and Marcus Tubbs at 265 and 290. And the linebackers are Tyrone Jones, 240. Derek Johnson, 215. D.D. Lewis at 245. Sooners up to the line on a second down 10 from the Texas 23. 327 to go first quarter, no score. Shotgun formation. Two wide receivers left, two to the right, showing blitz. Hibble gives the ball off to Griffin, tries to find running room on the right side, can't get it, and he'll be thrown for a loss. They would say it, it was actually a delay play, a draw play, if you will, and it's just a handoff to Griffin, who was standing right next to Hibble in the shotgun. Griffin looked as though he might have had a little crease there, but it immediately was uh, closed by Corey Redding, and the loss goes for two yards back to the Texas 25. Well, Merv, this is unimpressive in two plays here as the Sooners have uh, incomplete pass thrown away and a loss of two deep in Texas territory, trying to take advantage of that interception. At the 25, it's third down and 12 for Oklahoma, and you would expect to pass downfield here for sure enough. Texas showing blitz. Let's see what they do. Here's Hibble. The blitz comes. Hibble lobs a pass downfield. And overthrown and incomplete. Double covered, actually triple covered, Damian Mackey. But he couldn't get free, and it'll be fourth down as the Sooners not only didn't gain any yards, they lost two in three play. Well, see, that's uh, <laughs> that's what I said coming in, Bob, is that uh, we've got to get the running game going and uh, and make some yards uh, to be able to allow you to throw when, when you have to, when you want to. Those first, first two plays, even though one was a pass, it's pretty much a running game in their offense. Weren't successful. That's not a good sign. Tim Duncan, 7 of 11 on the year, but 2 of 2 from this distance. 42 yards, kicking with the wind. Slight angle to the right on the far hash mark. Snap, ball is down. Kick is in the air. It's long enough. Did it split the uprights? No. It's off to the left. So Tim Duncan misses his first field goal from that distance of the year. Still no score as the Sooners had a great opportunity but couldn't cash in. 2.35 to go first quarter, Oklahoma nothing, Texas nothing. This is the Oklahoma Sooner Network. All right, from the 25, Texas first and 10. Two wide receivers come wide to the right. That's the wide side of the field. And one running back, that's Ivan Williams behind quarterback Chris Sims from the Texas 25 after the missed field goal. Give it to Ivan Williams over left tackle, stacked up. And he falls forward. And let's see where they mark it. Mark it for a couple of yards, gain 27 perhaps. Ivan Williams, his nickname is Diesel, as we said, born in Liberty, Texas, from Cleveland, Texas now, was second team uh, 3A All-State in high school. He has come on of late. He was 21 years old last Wednesday. They're going to give him a three-yard pickup. That's more than I thought. So to the 28 it is from the 25, second down, and seven yards needed. 2.06 to go first quarter, no score. Sooners four-man front, Texas thrown 28, need to go to their own 35 for the first down. Two wide receivers right, one to the left. Tied in on the left side is now Mike Jones. Long signal count. Texas move, but no flag. And now there's the flag. Mike Jones, who was in a tight end, as we mentioned, first time today he'd been in a tight end, I believe. He raised up just before the ball was snapped, and Texas is bitten by the penalty bug. Yeah, they are. They, uh, they've shown great effectiveness to overcome it so far, but uh, we take all those we can get. That first play, uh, obviously, uh, Williams made about three yards on his own and the sooner right side played it well but the key guy in that again was tommy harris bob getting penetration over here right up the middle left side and forcing the running back into a crowd and tommy's uh, off to a great start today 12 yards to go then after the penalty back to the 23 in texas territory minute 42 to go first period chris sims under center one back behind him is ivan williams two wide receivers right sims hands the ball off to williams going left side and corey klein had him and got away from corey klein and williams 
goes around left, and Williams finally got the uh, tackle by Jeff, uh, Jimmy Wilkerson. Well, Corey Klein had him for virtually no game, but a great second effort by Ivan Williams, and the play ends at the 32. So a nine-yard pickup, and they needed 12, so that brings up third and three at the Texas 23-yard line. Texas makes several substitutions with a minute nine and the clock running, minute eight to go first period, no score. Oklahoma sends in Brandon Moore. It's two of four on third down conversions. Double back for the first time today for Texas. Tressel and Williams are the split backs behind Sims. Man in motion from left to right. B.J. Johnson. Sims gets the exchange. Short drop. Looks upfield. Throws flat pass. Caught at the 34. First down. And uh, tackled on the, uh, by Brett Robin. Was tackled by the Sooners at the 43 or 44 yard line. Kalmus on the tackle. But that was the split backs. Good protection. And Sims found in the near flat near the sideline. Brett Robin who had in for the first time today from Austin, Texas, 5'11", 190 receiver, and the completed pass went from the 23 to the 43. I think they caught the linebacker. 33 to the 43. Boston Excuse me. Covering him, Bob, out, uh, or up there playing the run. They made a strong run fake, and the linebacker that's supposed to cover him was not able to, to be on him. From the 33 to the 43. First down after the 10-yard pass at the Texas 43. Sims. Fakes the ball to Williams, rolling out to the left, looks upfield, still looking, throws. It's caught at the 48-yard line by B.J. Johnson, and immediately Roy Williams of the Sooners pulls him down at the 49, a pickup of six from the 43 to the 49 in Texas territory. As Merv, your comments now as we start the second period at the Texas 49, second down play, and they need about four. It's a lot different than the last uh, two years in the first quarter, Bob. The Sooners' offense has scored a ton of points each of those two years, and uh, basically they've got zero on the scoreboard right now. The first uh, quarter stats provided by Terry McLemore, our statistician. Oklahoma has one first down. Texas has four. Rushing yards, Oklahoma one. Texas 10. Passing yards, Oklahoma 23. Texas 67. So the offense, net offense for Texas 77 yards. Oklahoma 24 yards. Oklahoma has the one interception by Wolfolk, which the Sooners could not cash in on. They missed the field goal. And 16 seconds. Texas 11 minutes and 44 seconds. Wow. And Griffin uh, has one carry for two yards, and Williams six carries for 22 yards, I believe, for Texas. All right, it's at the 49 Texas territory. Now with the win. Here's Chris Sims. Hang the ball off to Williams. He's hit, hit he, and that's Ike. That's not, uh, that's Victor Ike, I believe, carrying the ball left side. Well, check it as he gets up. No, it is at Williams, as we call it originally. But at any rate, it was a pickup of uh, about a yard to the 50. Ike wears 26, Williams 28, but that was Big Williams. And Dusty Dvorak, Merv, doing a great job today. Yes, he is. Uh, that position, he and Harris both uh, made some good plays. Three of five on third downs. Here's a big third and three. Needing off the 50, down to the 47 in Oklahoma Territory. Empty backfield. Three wide receivers right and two to the left. No tight end. Center showing blitz. Sims being blitzed. Fires a pass. Incomplete. That's intended for a B.J. Johnson. That was the blitz that caused that because the Sooners had him outnumbered defensively and Texas couldn't block them all and Sims had to release much quicker than he wanted to. Rocky Kalmus coming right up the chute. Uh, mm -hmm. Really was a factor. He got his hands right in his face. Spotter will be Brian Bradford who kicked it uh, earlier uh, 32 yards. He's averaging 38 and a half yards, kicking with the wind this time, however. And Fagan is deep for Oklahoma. Waiting for the kick. No score. Just underway. Second period. Oklahoma and Texas. 14-18 to go. Snap is on the money. Here is the kick. It's a beautiful high kick. Well, kind of wobbly now. Now it's short. And it's taken by Fagan at the 20. Fair catch there. So it'll be Oklahoma's ball at the 20. Only a 30-yard punt. Remember, that's a break there because yes. the, uh, you know, a real skilled punter might have put that inside the 10. Well, and uh, the Sooners were certainly set up to watch for a fake punt, which means you don't do the greatest job of uh, getting a return on anyway. So there are a lot of good things happen for them on that particular play. Let's see if the Sooners can get some offense going here. Not much uh, offense for the Sooners and not much ball possession. They have the ball at the 20. Had a golden opportunity when Wolfolk picked off a, 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 a Sims pass and went 37 yards to the 23, but the Sooners couldn't do anything and missed a field goal. They only had two possessions, Matt. That's right. This is their third possession. Josh Norman in for the first time. Two wide receivers to both sides. In motion is Fagan. Gift to Fagan as he goes way deep. Now cuts up field. Cuts back toward the middle and gets virtually nothing. May get a yard or two. He had to retreat all the way back inside the 15. That was that wide receiver end around that worked so well a year ago. 
but every team the Sooners have played is ready for it this year. Ahmad Brooks, the free safety on the tackle, and he's lucky he got anything out of it. May get a yard or two. They still haven't spotted the ball. The umpire puts it down at the 21, so he got a yard. Second down nine for Oklahoma from their own 21-yard line. They break the huddle. Two wide receivers to the right and two to the left. Clayton and Norman are to the left. Trent Smith and Fagan to the right. Shotgun formation for the Oklahoma 21. Hibble, the blitz is on. He sacked. Coming in from the right side was the uh, defensive right end, Jermaine Anderson. Stand up in on that play from Texas City Senior, 6'3", 232. And Hibble just uh, couldn't get rid of it in time. Anderson charged through. Jason White was in the game at quarterback. Took that snap. So it's, I beg your pardon, I don't know what's wrong with Hibble. We'll check that out. I apologize for that. I did not see White in the lineup. The sack went back, lost 10 yards to the 12-yard line, actually a 9-yard loss, and it's third and long with Jason White in the shotgun. Jason White gets the snap, looks up, fires a pass, caught by Josh Norman to 11. He's to the 15, gets up to the 19, close to the 20, which is back to the original line of scrimmage. Quentin Jammer on the tackle, and the Sooners are three and out. Well, I did not notice uh, Hibble being injured, Merv. Let's uh, go down to Ron Benton. Ron, anything, any word on that? I don't see him on the bench, and I don't see him on the training table, fellas. I'll let you know as soon as I find out something. All righty. He is uh, back uh, by the team earlier in the week. It could be that uh, in that second series, he got uh, hit and it cropped up again, Bob. So back to kick the ball. Jeff Ferguson from Tulsa Holland Hall done such a great job. Nathan Vasher back to receive for Texas. Oklahoma thrown 19 is actually where they've spotted rather than the 20. Well, fourth and 11, officially. Here's the kick. Ferguson booms it. A line drive kick. Hits it to 50 and takes a Texas bounce, and it'll be killed on the far side. Right at near the fifth. About a 30, 29-yard putt. So it originally looked like he'd boomed it, but it started to uh, sort of <laughs> going around oblong-wise, left to right rather than over uh, head over heels, the football we're talking. And when it hit, it bounded back towards the uh, Texas goal, or the Oklahoma goal, rather. So it's at the 49-yard line. And we have a timeout. 12.06 to go, second period, no score, Oklahoma, Texas. This is the Oklahoma Sooner Network. Your local Jeep dealer today and test drive the new Jeep Liberty. Texas at the Oklahoma 47, first and 10 for their fourth possession. Texas has four first downs. Oklahoma has only one the first time they had the ball. Offset eye for the first time today. Trissel and Williams in the backfield. Unbalanced line to the left. That's where the tight end is. Sims drops straight back. Good protection. Throws a pass. Long pass downfield. B.J. Johnson incomplete at the 10-yard line. Pass interference may be called on Wolfel as he was protecting on the play and the ball and the flag was thrown at the 10-yard line. Looked like good coverage, but there may have been contact. Apparently the official thought so because I believe it'll be interference on Wolfel, but let's check it. It looked like Wolfel had the best position on the football. Here's the referee, John Lorry. Hope his mic works. Yeah, it is interference on Oklahoma. He didn't make an announcement, just signaled. So pass interference on Oklahoma. And Coach Stoops a bit upset with that call. Well, it looked like that uh, Wolfolk had position all the way, and the receiver tried to come over the top of him at the end of the play. And the fans are really getting on now if they show it on the replay. The penalty puts the ball, 15-yard penalty to the 32 in Oklahoma territory. Third penalty against the Sooners for 30 yards, a fifth first down for Texas, and now they have it at the Oklahoma 32. No score, we're in the second period. Offset eye again, at the fullback is Tressel, and the tailback, Ivan Williams. Wide receivers, one to the left, one to the right. Tight end is now Brock Edwards. There's a pass, fired, caught at the 19. Wolfolk makes the tackle, Tony Jeffrey. A bullet pass to Tony Jeffrey from Houston. Uh, Klein Forrest, boy, that was a bullet pass by Chris Sims, who's impressive with his arm today. Again, I believe of about 14 yards from the 32 down to the 19 in Sooner territory. Corey Heineke put a really good pop on him, too, then. You've got to be impressed with uh, Sims standing in there because he got nailed, and he knew he was going to get nailed. 14-yard pass play gives Texas their sixth first down. Again, the offset eye from the Oklahoma 19. Wide receivers left and right. Man in motion from left to right is Jeffrey. Give it to Jeffrey, and he's tripped up on a good tackle by Heineke, I believe. Heineke turned him inside. And then he tripped play. over Mike Williams' leg, his, his uh, lineman. The line of scrimmage was the 19. Just depends on what spot they give, whether they picked up anything. I think it's still at the 19. 
So Texas second down play in 10 from the Oklahoma 19. No score. We have 11.08 to go second period. Texas going with the win from right to left, south to north. Roy Williams wide right. V.J. Johnson wide left. Offset eye. Bo Scaife is now the tight end on the right side. Ivan Williams, the tailback. Chris Sims, the quarterback. Sooner, Sooner showing blitz. And they do the fake blitz. Sims, Wilkinson chasing him. Pass incomplete as Sims came wide left. Looked downfield, intended for Trestle. Great pressure by Jimmy Wilkinson. Forced Sims to throw early, and it was incomplete. That's a, really a fine play. The uh, get faked up in there and walked up in there. Uh, you see the linebacker. He's not being reckless and giving away his blitz. He's trying to get up in there knowing that they're going to make a protection change, Bob, and hopefully spring somebody else through. Here's a big play. It is a third and 10 from the 19 in Oklahoma Territory. Two wide receivers, right, three wide, left. Empty backfield behind Sims. He's under center from the Oklahoma 19. Chris Sims under center. Takes the snap, he backs up, he blitzes on, throws the pass, incomplete again. Jimmy Wilkerson, the great pressure, and the pass thrown too quickly, and off the fingertips of Bo Scaife, the tight end, incomplete. What you see there, Bob, is the same thing we saw against uh, Nebraska last year and Florida State. If they can keep them from making significant yardage on first down, then they get into those packages of blitzes and tricks that really are effective. Dusty Mangum is the field goal kicker. He's one of three from this distance. Redshirt freshman is Dusty Magram from Mesquite, Texas. Slight angle to the right at the north end zone kicking with the wind. Snap, ball down. It's blocked. The kick is blocked. It's free at the 22. Sooners pick it up the 23, 25 yard line. Up, still at the 35. Roy Williams gets it up to the 39. What a momentum switch there. As the Andre Wolfolk, I think, blocked the kick. And then it was picked up by Roy Williams who got about a 20-yard return, and the Sooners have it at their own 39. How about them after? Oh, that's, that's uh, what a job of the defense. That Long Orange got the football at the 47-yard line, make a couple of quick first downs. The defense digs in and just stuffs them and then blocks their field goal. You talk about a lift. All right, let's see if the Sooners can uh, get some offense going here. Nate Hibble is back on the field. So he was out that one series when Jason White was in. Apparently he's okay, they feel, and he feels. The ball is at the center 39-yard line, first and 10. Shotgun formation. Carter gets the snap back in good shape. Blitz is on, passes upfield. It's caught, dropped right in the hands of Antoine Savage. Nice pass to the 46, and as has happened all too often this, this season, although Savage had a great game last week. We're not criticizing him, but the centers have dropped some key passes this year. Drop some passes they didn't drop a year ago. You know, it's uh, it's uh, it's been frustrating for the coaching staff. I know. Second down, ten for Oklahoma from their own 39. This time uh, again, the shotgun. Two wide receivers left and two to the right. The wide side of the field is to the left. The shotgun. The blitz is on. Hibble fires a pass upfield, underthrown. Had to get rid of it because of the pressure. Well, the Sooners just having no luck at all on offense. They have one first down. They've been three and out after they missed a field goal they've been two and out the uh three-man front bob you can get you a lot of different combinations of blitzes with those safeties and backers and that's basically they get an overload on one side with four people and mix it and i'm sure they felt like the sooners thought they were going to defend and only rush three and hadn't worked on these blitzes i think they'll get them picked up as we go but they really really put a lot of pressure on them. six defensive backs in and three wide receivers left and one to the right and nate hibble wants timeout Sooners a bit confused on what play the coaches want. Sooners with a big third down remains in the lineup. Back to Hibble. Hibble looks upfield. He fires it. It's caught at the 50-yard line by Clayton, and that should be the first down. Needed nine or ten, rather, and got 11. Perfect throw by Nate Hibble, who hit the deck just as he threw it. He was under pressure, He's and I think he wants out. out. Two wide receivers to the right and two to the left. Hands off to Griffin. Over the middle. Lunges downfield and gets to the 46. Got about four. Griffin shifts to the left side of Jason White. Blitz is on. White fires a pass. Caught by Clayton at the 40-yard line. Lunges down. First down. Great second effort by Clayton. Second quarter, same formation. Jason White gives the ball to Griffin. He's hitting the backfield. And just uh, the blitz was there as the ball was handed off. They almost handed the ball off to Philip Giger. Who to the left. Jason White at quarterback. Gets the snap. 
Blitz is on. White rolls out of the pocket. Looks upfield. Fires a pass. It's caught at the 35. Again, it's Clayton. He gets away from a tacker and gets a couple more yards to 33. 23 down to the 32. The pass to Clayton. His fourth reception. 11 yards. And we need to get to the 29 for the first down. Again, the shotgun. Again, the blitz. Rolls right. Throws a pass. Caught at the 30. Clayton short of the first down. That's a, pa- a pickup of only a couple. Maybe only one if they know they, their lines, but it's marking it at the third. Feel good about a field goal right now into that uh, unpredictable win, having just missed one at all. The punt, there's no point in punting. All right, here we go. Fourth down the yard to go from the Texas 30. Two wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Under center is Jason White, who's in for Hibble, who's injured. Man in motion from left to right. Here's Mackey down the line, option play. White pitches to Griffiths, 30, 25, 20. He's out of bounds inside the 15, 13 yard line. Merv Johnson called it. 17 yards on the option left, wide open around the left side. And I guarantee you, if that man hadn't taken Jason, in, in other words, if he'd taken the pitch man, Jason would have gotten just sure three yards. You know, they did get the chance to see the defense they were probably going to get the next play and uh, made them feel good about the option possibilities. Of course, the motion, uh, flanker in motion where they give it to him on that sweep certainly added a lot to the play, too. He came to the near side and the play went to the far side. Right. Three wide receivers left as it's first and 10 from the Texas 13-yard line. Shotgun this time. Jason White gets the snap, hands the ball to Griff, keeps the ball. White goes to the 10. He's to the 5. He puts the head down just about the 2. 11 yards. Oh, what a great play. They fake to Griffin on that little handoff from the shotgun, and then White took off. He ran over Kalen Thornton, the defensive end, and it'll be Sooners first down and goal to go. That was a great play, and that was sort of an option play, really, there. It is. Uh, not not much one, but I like the shotgun timing for the draw and for the bootlegs. That's the fourth first down in this drive ball upfield from the Texas 2. Chris Tony at fullback. Offset eye formation. White changing the play. Jason White. Just upfield from the 2. White. Option play. Looks. Pitches to Griffin. Sweeps left side. Touchdown, Oklahoma. The option play scores left. And the center is a tremendous drive after the block field goal. They went 61 yards, picking up four first downs. The sixth TD of the year for Griffin. He had six against Texas last year and one in this game. He scores a very important touchdown today. He sure does. That, uh, uh, there again, uh, Jason gives you just a little bit different dimension to your offense, and I know Texas coaches are scratching their heads right now, but I want to assure them he can still throw the football. The extra point now at the south end zone. Tim Duncan, the left-footed kicker. Snap, ball down. Jason White holds. Kick looks good. Is good. It'll be Chris Sims' turn. It's Hill, short of the 20-yard. So Texas will start from their own 19 after the center drive that went 61 yards in 11 plays, took 434 off the clock, a two-yard run by Quentin Griffin. And the OU fans are really getting into it, Murr. They got their, they got their heads back up now, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> 61 uh, yards, 11 plays. They're calling it at the 20, even though it's downfield from it. So let's call it at the uh, Texas 20, first and 10. Ivan Williams is the single t- tail back behind Chris Sims. Double tight end from the Texas 20-yard line. Sims, three-step drop, flat pass, caught at the 20. And tackled uh, the tight end, Brock Edwards, from Fort Worth Christian High School. After a three-yard pickup, he was downed immediately by Andre Wolfolk, who made, who's made a couple of big plays in this game on defense. He may never see offense again. The way he's playing defense today and special teams as well. A three-yard pickup on the short pass, flat pass to the near side. Second down, seven for Texas. Oklahoma leads 7-0, 521 to go second period. Wide to the right side is B.J. Johnson. Roy Williams is left, double tight end. That's Brock Edwards and Bo Scaife. And one back behind the quarterback, Sims, is Ivan Williams from the 23. Long single count. Sims, straight drop, three-step, good protection. He throws, caught, and getting away from the tacklers at the 25-30 has a first down. Scape got away from Brandon Everidge, who did a really uh, poor job trying to tackle him. Didn't wrap him up at all. Sort of tried to arm tackle him and uh, got to the 34-yard line, an 11-yard pickup, and Texas has first down number seven. 
Oklahoma has five in the game. The ball is at the Texas 34. The pressure, and they have him for a save. Oh, Jimmy Wilkerson, what a great play. Jimmy Wilkerson from Omaha, Texas, just one arm grabbed him by the jersey and threw him down at the 29-yard line, a loss of five. Second sack for Jimmy Wilkerson, third sack of the day on Texas, and the ball is at the 29-yard line. Well, that's impressive. It really was. Jimmy is uh, the guy that I think throughout his career they would hope they could claim a defensive end. Uh, they've needed him at linebacker all, all along and still kind of do, but uh, they feel like that's his best position, I think. Sloan Thomas wide right, and uh, wide to the left is B.J. Johnson. In the backfield now is Brent Robin, pass receiving type guy, double tied in. Here is Sims dropping, the left-hander looks upfield, throws, caught in the flat by Jeffrey at the 35, gets to the 39. Does a good job breaking a tackle, Tony Jeffrey. Redshirt freshman, 6'2", 175, his second catch of the day. Both have been pretty big ones. This one, will have a 10-yard pickup from the 29 to the 39, and that brings up a third down play and five for Texas from their own 39. Texas and third down conversions is uh, three of seven. Oklahoma leads at seven, nothing. 3.52 to go before halftime. Two wide receivers to the right, Sloan and Johnson. And one to the left is Roy Williams. Victor Ike is down the backfield from the Texas 39, third and five. Need to go to the 44 for the first down. Sims. Straight drop, good protection, looks upfield, fires a bullet, caught at the Oklahoma 41, and fumbles the ball after he makes the catch, and the Sooners recover, but the, the ground caused the fumble, according to the umpire who was right there. Bo Scaife made the catch, boy, that was a beautiful pass from Chris Sims. And every time there's been real good protection, you give him time enough, he'll hurt you with that passing. He really can. He can throw any kind of pass that you want a guy to throw, whether it's a crossing receiver, which is hard to hit, a post route, your screens, your touch passes. The only chance you got, I think, is to have somebody around him because he just, uh, he's handled pressure well when he's been able to throw, and he's, when he hadn't had pressure, he kills him. 25 yards picked up on the pass plate escape. First down, number eight for Texas at the Oklahoma 36 as Texas tries to answer. Here's the handoff to, to Victor Ike, sweeping left side. He gets good yardage, gets away from two tacklers. Two centers had their hands on him, couldn't bring him down. That's a poor spot, Bob. His knee was down back here at the 32-yard line. And they put it at the 29, so they give him a gain of... Uh, seven on the play and it'll be second down and three for texas at the oklahoma 29 yard line we've said all along and the coaches will tell you it's how your team answers another team's success well the Sooners had that 61 yard drive not texas pretty impressive this started drive uh, drive start at throwing 20 and they have the ball at the oklahoma 29 second down play in three double tied in one back is victor ike he gets the handoff. He gets away from one tackler, gets away from another tackler, and gets the first down. Gets all the way down to the 21-yard line, close to the 20. Roy Williams hurt. Roy Williams slow getting up for the Sooners. He may, he's trying to shake it off as he stays in the game. But there was a nice run by Victor Ike, who reversed his uh, field. He was going right, nothing there, and he went back left. Broke two tackles. Uh, that's poor. A uh, great job by him, I guess, but poor by the defense. They had penetration, had him caught in the backfield for a two or three-yard loss by two different people. And he was able to make the first down. At the Oklahoma 21, first down number nine for Texas. Victor Ike is behind the quarterback, Chris Sims. Double tied in. Roy Williams of Texas wide left. There's movement on the line. Back to pass. Sims throws caught at the 21. That's Jones. Great one-on-one -on -one tackle by Wolfel. Oh, he's done a great job on defense at left corner. That Mike hurt, Jones though. made he, the catch. He stung himself. He stung up. himself with the tackle, but Mike Jones is also going to feel that. And the gain maybe was for a yard if that. Flat pass. Ball is put uh, at the 20, really. One yard pickup. A little feel from it. Second down play and uh, nine yards to go at the Oklahoma 20 for Texas. Minute and a half to go before halftime. Oklahoma leads 7 0. Sims under center, double tied in. Uh, and movement on the line, flags everywhere. Harris move. I think Harris moved, but trying to anticipate the count. He's drawn offside, and that'll give Texas five yards. If I'm that ball, right. contact, contact by defense. That's kind of cheap, Bob, and you see it a lot. You see the quarterback, the difference in his head than when he chanted the count is what it normally is. You see him bob that head and everything. Yeah. That's tough. That's tough on a defender, especially when you got your back to the wall and you're trying to get a good pass rush. Uh, I wish they'd be a little tougher on quarterbacks on those things. Second down play now, and four yards to go for Texas at the 15. We have 123 to go before halftime. Texas Roy Williams goes wide to the right. Wide to the left, B.J. Johnson. Victor Ike, that tailback, double tight end. Now the tight end on the right side drops off. Mike Jones, he's in motion left. 
So overloads it left. Sims looks back to his right, throws a pass incomplete. Roy Williams took his, eye, took his uh, eyes off the ball and it sailed over out of his hands and uh, incomplete. That could be the sun a little too, Bob. I think someone, you or someone commented it earlier that the sun's really a factor and it always is here for those 230 kickoffs. So it's a third down four for Texas. You got to figure if they don't make a uh, sizable yardage, you'll there try the field goal. That would be somewhat of a success for the Sooner defense. 106 to go before halftime, 7-0 Sooners lead. Big play here, really big play. And I believe we have uh, Chad Stevens in there now. Split backs for the second time today. From the Oklahoma 15, in motion from right to left, Chad Stevens. From one of those split back positions, Chris Sims, a short drop. They give him time, he throws the pass. It is caught. Victor Ike makes a good move. Hit by Teddy Lehman, and he's short of the first down, I believe. But no, it, no. They're going to be close. They may have given it to him. He hit it, at, got the pass at the 12. Looked like he was hit there, but he made a nice uh, Victor Ike. Hard to get out. At least the centers had trouble with him. And they needed four to the 11 man measure from the far side. Play ended up pretty much on the near side. But it appears to us that he got it. Take a brief a break here. The Sooner Football brought to you by Pizza Hut is proud sponsor of OU Football. Stop by Pizza Hut today. Pick up your 2001 football schedule magnet. Well, that was the Texas people you hear cheering as it's first down number four in the drive. They're 10th in the game and the ball is at the Oklahoma 11. We have 55 seconds to go and Texas has all three timeouts left. Oklahoma leading 7-0. We're in the second quarter and the clock running now 50 seconds as Texas breaks their huddle. Roy Williams wide left, B.J. Johnson wide right, Tressel and Ike in the offset eye, Sims under center from the Oklahoma 11. Chris Sims gets the exchange, draw play, Ike is hit, gets away, Rocky hit him, but he get away, got away from him, got a yard. And a timeout taken by Texas with 29 seconds left before halftime. So a pickup of only a yard. Why did Victor Ike, Victor Ike's hard to get down, Coach? Yeah, I tell you, you know, we get all enamored with these big backs and those quick ones that people can't tackle are awfully important. Uh, I tell you, you don't appreciate what position our defense has been in in this drive. You know, you're running out of time in the half. You don't want to do what we did at the end of the game last week and let them throw one over the top. But, you you know, you, you, a team has all their timeouts. They can work their way down the field on you and make you look kind of bad. You notice they haven't been as aggressive with their blitz in this drive. It just You're in a bind because of the clock uh, is working in your favor if you can choke them down. Big Red Sales, 44th and Memorial in Tulsa. Log on and save today at www.sunbeltsports.com. 7 nothing Sooners in a defensive struggle in the first half. Sooners had a beautiful drive. Jason White led most of it all but one play of it. And then Texas has answered with a good passing by Sims, particularly a 25 yarder to that tight end Bo Scaife. That uh, was a big play in the drive. Texas has gone to a third down twice and picked it up both times in this drive. All right, the ball is at the 10 in Sooner territory. Oklahoma leads seven nothing, 29 seconds before halftime. B.J. Johnson and Roy Williams both to the right side now. And the split backs, Ivan Williams and Mark Trussell. Now Mark Trussell. Ike rather goes to not Trussell. Wide to the left side. Back to pass to Sims. Looks. He looks. He retreats. He passes. Way overthrown. Good defense by the Sooners. Great coverage downfield. As Sims kept looking, he had plenty of time, kept looking. Just simply couldn't find anybody open. Yeah, it was, not, it was a great play by Heineke, too. Not committing himself to the point he could always stay in front of Sims with his hands up. And that's, you know, that just compounds the quarterback's problems when that when that guy won't go away or take the fake. I thought Corey did a great job. Brandon Moore comes out of the lineup. Matt McCoy in for the Sooners as Texas faces third down from the 10 yard line. Need to go down to the one for the first down, 10 for the touchdown. Wide receivers, two to the right and one to the left. Here's Chris Sims, the three-step drop, fires a pass, incomplete, knocked away at the goal line by Derek Strait, intended for Roy Williams of Texas. 19 seconds to go before halftime. Fourth down, and Texas forced to go the field goal route. Three great defensive plays right there. But that defense made three huge plays. Again, uh, the time, the length of field, and so forth. They finally got down to their backs to the wall where they could crowd them a little more and make those plays. Dusty Mangum had his first field goal block. You wonder about a fake here. The ball is at the 20, uh, at the uh, 17, so it makes a 27-yard field goal attempt. He's one for one from this distance this year. Snap, ball down, not a fake. Field goal, boom through, it's good. The Sooners maintain their lead, but it's cut to four points. 
The score now 7-3 to three on the 27-yard field goal with 14 seconds to go in the, the first half. Sooner football brought to you by Dodge. You can take life as it comes, or you can grab life by the horns. Very appropriate for today, by the way. Dodge, see the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Let's go down to Ron Benton. Ron, good defensive stand there, wasn't it? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, it's crucial. It backs up against the wall, as Merv said, and he stepped up at that point. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're still getting great pressure on Chris Sims, but the defensive backs, I mean, they're just all over the receivers. 13 plays, 70 yards in that drive for Texas. The 27-yard field goal by Dusty uh, Magrum, uh, or Mangum, rather, to correctly pronounce his name, Mangum, who is from Mesquite, Texas, a walk-on. And with only 14 ticks of the clock to go before halftime, it's a 7-3 game in favor of the Sooners. Oklahoma breaks the huddle from their defensive, uh, or the, from the coaches on the far side. Merv, you would imagine the Sooners would just, uh, unless there's a great return here or something, just yeah. run out the last 14 seconds. Yeah, if they get in, and that's, that's probably going to be difficult to do, I would think. I don't know how much confidence they have this guy putting it in the end zone, but if he doesn't put it, if he if they don't have, he'll kick it on the ground or something where it's going to be difficult to set anything up. David Pino will be kicking off from Wichita Falls Rider. He's also a walk-on. It is a line drive kick. Skips at the 14 into the hands of Savage at the 5. He runs it upfield 15, 20. Touch goes right to 24, to the 25. Gets the block, goes to the 30, gets by one guy. Going to the 35, pretty good return to the 37. <laughs> 32-yard return, four seconds left in the halftime. 32-yard return. That's uh, That gives you a chance maybe to throw one downfield. You might as well. Might as well, huh? See how far you can throw it. Uh, who knows? Somebody may make a miracle catch down there. You, you... <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Jason White, to repeat for late tuners in, replaced the uh, injured Nate Hibble in the Sooner lineup and will let a drive all but one play of a 61-yard drive. For the Sooners' only touchdown, the only touchdown in the game. Now the Sooners will, we're not, they're not going to, to gamble. They'll just touch the knee down and run out the clock, unless Texas stops it, which I doubt if they will. There's the end of the first half. At the end of the first half, Oklahoma seven, Texas three. All right, Texas will be kicking off from right to left. It'll be David Pino from Wichita Falls, Ryder, 1958-165, walk on to a high school, a true freshman, high school last year. Ball's at the 35 side, or is it the reverse? The reverse of that. Savage far side, Fagan near side. Here we go. Second half. Ooh, so Texas uh, deep onside kick worked just like they liked it. Sooners could not field it cleanly. Mosey, I think, is the one. Jamar Mosey was the special teams player who tried to pick up the ball and could not get it. He won. Rather than the 20, I believe. The umpire has the responsibility of marking the ball, and that's where they're putting it, at the 21. Oklahoma, first down, 10 yards to go. Jason White will be the quarterback. Sooners had the ball four possessions and scored once. Texas had it five times and kicked a field goal in the first half. Tony and Griffin, Quentin Griffin and Chris Tony are on either side of White from the shotgun, 21-yard line. Jason White backs up. He looks. Now he gets out of a way of a rush. He'll keep the ball. Come. Now he fires a pass, and it's caught at the 35-yard line. Fagan makes the catch. He threaded the needle and looked as though White had decided to run, but before he crossed the line of scrimmage, he fired a pass up field, and Curtis Fagan makes the catch. 14-yard pickup. Sooners have first down number six. Very confident throw uh, backed up here uh, at the start of the quarter to uh, be able to pull that off, Bob. That's impressive. I'm not trying to make any uh, comparison necessarily, but that's a thing that uh, Josh Heupel did a lot last year. He would look like he would run and fire a pass. Ball at the 35-yard line, then, Oklahoma. Uh-oh, went the wrong way that time. Jason White, he goes back to left. He's, he's tackled for a loss. He went right. Everybody else went left, so you have to suppose that he's the one that made the mistake. Boy, he, he was shaken up on that tackle. Day. He was hit very, very hard by defensive left end Corey Redding. So, uh, you know, you got one quarterback hurt. You certainly don't know get another one hurt. A five-yard loss back to the Oklahoma 30, and it's second down 15. He opened out the wrong way, and, of course, his momentum was going the wrong way to make the pitch. I'm glad he didn't try to pitch it. I think he just uh, opened out the wrong way, as you say. He went the wrong way. Ronaldo Works is now in the lineup for the first time today. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Works is beside Jason White. Quick pass, caught at the 28th screen to Savage. Gets a couple of yards up across the 30. He was uh, made the catch at about the 28 behind the line and then made a couple of yards after he was hit. One of the Texas players almost caused a penalty. Basher was was mouthing off to one of the Oklahoma players, and that'll get you unsportsmanlike penalty as the 
Ball is marked at the 32, so a two-yard pickup from the line of scrimmage and a third down play for Oklahoma, and they need 13. On third down conversions, the Sooners today are two of six in the first half. They have the ball at their own 32, need to go to the 45 for the first down. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers right and one to the left. Clayton, who had five receptions the first half, is the one to the left. Jason White, the quarterback, gets the exchange from the shotgun. He looks, he throws up field, and it's incomplete. And Clinton for Clayton on the far side, Roderick Babers made the, knocked the ball away, would not have had the first down anyway. So the Sooners got one first down, but then that uh, busted play cost them and they never were able to recover. And so it's fourth and 15 from the Oklahoma 37, and Jeff Ferguson will be in to try to punt uh, for better average than he did the first half. It certainly was great coverage by that defensive back over there, Bob. Nathan Vasher, the single back to receive the punt. Texas shifting around on their punt rush coverage. The center's trying to confuse the center's blocking. Here's a snap back. Here's Ferguson. He booms a beautifully high one, much better this time. Backing up, taking it to the 21-yard line. Gets away from one tackle at this time. Can't away from Roy Williams of Oklahoma. As uh, Basher was really bashed. <laughs> He was uh, actually flung down, if you will. 47-yard putt and a minus two on the return. That's more like Jeff Ferguson there. And Evan and uh, Ivan Williams, rather, at the tailback double tight end. Brock Edwards in both shape. Edwards right, shape tight end left. Shooters with a five-man front this time, it appears. Here is Sims. Give the ball to Williams. He's hit at the 20-yard line. Fights forward and out of bounds. Again, he got to get away from uh, Corey Klein this time. And... To the 23. It looked like he would be stopped after a yard gain to the 20 and got four out of him. Yeah, Cal was, uh, was able to get in there and uh, catch him at the line of scrimmage for no gain, and he, he couldn't hang on to him. That guy is really strong. He's uh, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if Mac Brown won't try to get that running game established. I don't think he'll give up on it just yet. Ivan Williams is who we're talking about, the tailback. Second down six for Texas from their own 23. Just underway third period, 12.35 to go when the when the uh, play starts, double tied in. One back behind him is Williams, fake to Williams. Williams, or their pass is caught at the 26. And by Boscafe, the tight end, I believe it is, hit immediately by Derek Stray to pick up from the 23 to the 27. Four yard gain, bring up third down and two for Texas from their own 27. And they were five of 10, Texas was, third down conversions in the first half. Good What's job this? by Wilkerson there on the rush and pressure. So, Sooners, uh, to Harris and Moore go out. And two wide uh, defensive backs come in. Five wide receivers, no tight end for Texas. Sooners have six DBs in there. Two yard, or rather, uh, yes, two yards to go for the first down from the 27. Empty backfield. Chris Sims under center. Sooners showing blitz. Back to pass. Sims throws caught. First down. B.J. Johnson and McKay McCoy rather hangs on and makes the stop, not before he gets to the 41 yard line. 14 yard pickup. Good protection considering it was an empty backfield. The Sooners knew it was going to be a pass, but they couldn't quite get to Sims before he drilled the pass to B.J. Johnson. And that is their 11th first down for Texas, their first this half at their own 41-yard line. Kind of had him in a bind there. They uh, weren't able to cover that quick slant. If they can get all those inside rushers, get someone in front of them, they've got time to throw it. First down, 10 yards to go Texas from their own 41. This time back to the double tight end. Wide receivers, Roy Williams right, right and wide left. And another wide receiver. Back to pass Sims. Plenty of time. Throws a pass. It's incomplete. Antenna for B.J. Johnson. Wolfolk broke it up. But there was really, actually pretty good coverage, uh, almost triple coverage. But Wolfolk has played very well on defense today. He's been in the right position and certainly made a couple of big plays. That ball looked like it might have been thrown a little bit behind him. That's about as off target as we've seen Sims. He's put it right where you would want it almost every pass. From the Texas 41, second down and 10 yards to go. Now we have uh, five defensive backs in as Matt McCoy back in there from replacing Brandon Moore. Texas has the double tied in. Brock Edwards tied in left, both gave tied in right. Williams wide right, Johnson wide left. Hand off to Williams up the middle and he gets two or three and is dropped, I believe, shy of the 44. Corey Heineke on the stop. And it'll be a gain. Give him a couple of yards, the 43. See what they put on the scoreboard. I think they're saying officially a 44, but it's in between the two. Third down play and needing to go to the 49. Five, a little more than five yards to go on a third down play here for Texas. Seven, I'm sorry. 
49. Yeah, the Sooner 49 is where they have to go, not the Texas 49. Three-man rush. OU called a timeout just as the play began. And uh, Coach Stoops comes way out on the field. What's that all about, Coach? I don't know. I don't know whether that's a formation they don't normally use. I, I, I don't think that it really is. Uh, you know, in, in their substitution package, they could have, uh, with a the defense, they could have read who came in wrong and got the wrong players out there, possibly. Well, we'll see what is there this time, Irv. I, I missed, it might have been an incorrect defensive alignment. I think so. Either wrong personnel or wrong alignment. Uh, certainly the offense uh, presented a formation I think they've seen before. Left side, and Brett Robin is now the tailback. He's more of a receiver than a running back. Things overloaded to the left side. Chris Sims may be changing the play. Four-man front for Oklahoma. Two linebackers. Here is Sims. A short drop. They protected him well here in the third period. Finds a pass near side. Almost picked off right through the hands of Antonio Perkins. He had a much better shot at it than did the intended receiver on the play on the near sideline, but went right through his hands. That would have been exciting, oh, wouldn't it? Oh, man. I'm telling you, that was a touchdown right there. Yeah, it would have. Oh, Antonio Perkins couldn't hold on on the high, went right through his head. Here is a fourth down play, but the key there was his third down. They didn't pick up the first down, so Brian Bradford back to punt the ball. He did not have a particularly good average, 31 yards per kick in the first half. Low snap, gets the kick off, waiting for it downfield. Fagan takes it to 17 to his left, and a nice tackle. Special teams play. Great play by uh, Tyrone Jones or... Uh, Michael Unger on the tackle on special teams, one of the two. And guy just got to give him credit. Great tackle on the special team. The punt went for 39 yards. About a four-yard return at that. You know, an interesting thing on that uh, third down pass, Bob, it's, it's fun to watch. Uh, you got to kind of know what you're looking for. But they wanted all their receivers on this side to put Williams one-on-one up on the top versus straight. At the last second, straight cheated up and the safety moved over to back him up and forced him to have to throw to the side of the defense. They hoped that they didn't have to throw to. Sooners have three wide receivers to the right and one to the left. No tight end. Jason White keeps the ball option and is tackled after a short game. D.D. Lewis popped him pretty good as uh, that time uh, Derek Johnson also helped out. That's the one they really are congratulating. The game goes for only about a yard. As Jason White who ran the option play twice successfully both times pitching in the second quarter led to the touchdown the only one of the game by either team that time only got a yard on the option second down play and nine for the Sooners at their own 22. wide to the left is Clayton had five receptions in the first half Savage wide right along with Trent Smith and Tony and Griffin are to either side of Jason White who backs up now to pass he looks he lobs a pass upfield down the sideline out of bounds and it was uh, just thrown away really because uh, defending on the play for Texas was Ahmad Brooks it intended for Clayton, and it's a third down play in nine from the Oklahoma 22. I don't know what Clayton was doing. It looked like he choked it down five or six yards to the ball. I don't know why they misjudged it. Uh, I don't think the sun would be a factor looking back to the north right now. Texas puts in an extra defensive back, Philip Giger. Now they have five defensive backs in there. The Sooners face a third and nine from their own 22 shotgun. Two wide receivers right and one to the left. Jason White with the blitz on. Sooners pick it up pretty well. White gets out of trouble, now comes to his right, retreats inside the 10, cuts upfield to the to the 15. He looks, he's still looking, he can't get the ball away. He had Quentin Griffin wide open, never could get the ball to him. And he was brought down for a sack. Well, that was an exciting sack as uh, Jason White showed a little bit of inexperience that time. He should have unloaded that ball, don't you agree, Murr? Yeah, I think so, especially toward the end of that. Uh, you know, he just wanted to try to find somebody down there he could throw it to, and uh, at least he didn't throw it to one of them. Kalen Thornton was injured on the play. Fourth down play, Sooners three and out. From their own 22, Jeff Ferguson kicking into the win. Waiting for the, from the staff from Painter. Ball is at the 18-yard line. That's what he lost on that sack. There is a kick, boom kick downfield. Take away from Basher. Hits at the 37, across the 35, rolling to the 31-yard line, where it's down there by Wolfolk. 51-yard punt and no return. So Texas has their second possession. Sooners lead it by a score of 7-3, 8.35 to go in the third period. They put the ball at the 31-yard line, as we call it, in Texas territory. 
defensive struggle today, I guarantee you. <laughs> Texas comes out from the uh, on the offense. Chris Sims, the quarterback. Wide to the right side goes Sloan. And left is B.J. Johnson. And Roy Williams are both out left this time. Four-man front for the Sooners. Texas from their own 31, first and 10. One back behind the quarterback, Sims. And that's Williams, a fake to him. He rolls back to his left. He's being chased, throws a short pass, caught at the 35. Roy Williams makes the tackle. B.J. Johnson gets a gain of four. Maybe maybe only three. The line's been lining up at about the 34, but however, it may be in between the two, and they normally call it one yard ahead of where the uh, ball is. Let's see where they spot that ball down. Let's call it the 35. So a four-yard pickup, second down play, and six for Texas from their own 35. Two wide receivers right, B.J. Johnson, Roy Williams. And they have tight end on the left side. One back behind the quarterback, Chris Sims. Hands it to Williams, over the left tackle. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Still going, but stacked up again. Gets absolutely nothing. Great defense on Simon Williams. He really was. Uh, I don't know who hit him first in there. I'm not sure. That was one of the linebackers, I think, maybe. Uh, Dvorak, I believe. But I'm telling you, they hit him hard, and he still fought off of it till the other players got there. He is really strong. Extra defensive back checks in for Oklahoma. Six defensive backs, so now it's third and six for Texas from their own 35. Sooners lead at 7-3, 7-28 to go third period. Empty backfield, five wide receivers, two to the left, three to the right. Sooners have a three-man front showing blitz. Chris Sims with the blitz on, throws the pass, caught, and, and short of the first down, but leaning, trying to get the first down. Yeah, Sloan it's going to give him a great spot. He leaned forward with the ball just across the 40, needed to go to the 41. It's going to be very close. And uh, the referee, John Lowry, will call for the chain from the far side, which is the east side, to be brought across the field, play ended at the west side, and we'll have a measurement there. And it'll be an important one because we'll bring up fourth down, and Texas probably not in the four-down territory at their own 40-41. I sort of think they'll go for it, Bob. You do? If, yeah, I do. I think that they got good yardage the other time they ran the sneak. This is uh, not going to be beyond sneak yardage, I don't think. Okay, they're stretching out the chain, and it will be short. Half a yard short. So let's see what Texas decides to do. A lot of new numbers coming in, looks like. So apparently they're either going to fake a punt or punt it, indeed. Brian Bradford is the kicker from Lufkin, Texas, transferred from Trinity Valley Community College. 21-61-215. He punted the ball 39 yards, the only time they may try to draw the Sooners off or something. Texas has a wide out to the right and a wide out to the left. Both are defensive players, but they're on the special team here, so it appears they're going to punt the ball, and back deep is Fagan to receive for Oklahoma with 7-12 to go third period, Oklahoma leading 7-3. Deep snapper is Leffler. Snap is back on the money. Not a good rush for the Sooners, and a beautiful kick with the win. Taken up the 11-yard line by Fagan, and he's tackled immediately at about 14, 13 or 14. A 49-yard punt, that's the best punt of the day, and a two-yard return, and the timeout is taken on the field. Sooner 7, Texas 3, 7 to go third period. This is the Oklahoma Sooner Network, who's not caught a pass today, not been thrown to, I don't believe. Two wide receivers right, including Trent Smith, and two to the left. Shotgun formation from the Oklahoma 14. Jason White, the Sooner quarterback, gets the exchange, fakes to Griffin, rolls left, looks upfield, throws a pass, caught by Josh Norman at the 19 to the 20, and tackle right there. That's Josh Norman's first catch of the day. Kind of wish they'd given it to Griffin. It looked like he had some space over here, didn't it? It did that time. First they were, time. They were very wary of uh, White faking the handoff and running with it. They had a man on Jason White. But a pickup there of six from the 14 to the 20. Second reception for Josh Norman. Did we correct ourselves? Terry McLemore, statistician, helping us out there as usual. Second down four for Oklahoma from their own 20. Again, the shotgun formation. Here's the fake to Griffin. White rolls to his right, looks to pass, short pass, caught by Trent Smith. And late flag is thrown down as he's knocked out of bounds at the 28. That'll be a first down plus a bunch. Let's see what the... And they're saying an incomplete pass. They say he was hit and the ball went free, so it's incomplete. But he ran all the way across the field to make that call. The, the official closest to the... On the defense. Defensive holding, but the pass was incomplete. So that'll give the Sooners a first down, Murph. That's a big one. You know, uh, I couldn't figure out what the 
the deal was when Smith lined up on the left side of the formation, Bob, because the tight end never does that. Then he moved over to the right side. Obviously, that would put him in good drag position for the bootleg, but they still got him over here on this side. But uh, that's something you don't ever see the Sooners do much. A 10-yard penalty, automatic first down. The ball's at the 30 in Sooner territory. Fourth penalty for 30 yards on Texas. Seventh first down today for Oklahoma. Texas has 11. Griffin out, and R Ronaldo works into the OU lineup at the 30-yard line with 6.18 to go third period. Josh Norman and Savage wide left. Trent Smith and Fagan wide right. Shotgun formation. Jason White is the quarterback. White back to pass. Throws. Caught behind the line by Fagan. Ooh, racked up after a yard gain. He had to wait on the pass to get there, and by that time, Texas uh, had recovered. And Corey Redding, who's done his, his uh, share of hitting hard today, knocked him down. Corey Redding from Houston... North Shore, all USA Today in high school and a parade All-American, a two-year letterman, second team about Big 12 a year ago. They've got uh, some players that really do thud the ball carrier, don't they? They don't drag them down. They put a hurt on them. The ball is at the 31-yard line. Second down play, nine yards to go for Oklahoma with their own 31. Now we have Chris Tony and Quentin Griffin either side of Jason White, who is in the shotgun. Blitz is on for Texas. They pick it up, pass is thrown, caught behind the line by Griffin, or other out, about the 30-yard line, actually behind the line. He'll, he'll lose a yard or two. Well, they're all over Griffin, no matter whether he's carrying the ball or uh, throwing a pass. Corey Redding again on the tackle, along with Quentin Jammer. And so the ball will be put down as they bring it into the hash mark to the 30. So yard loss. Brings up a third and 10 for the Sooners. At their own 30, leading 7-3 with... 5.04 to go third period, but the offense can't get anything going to keep the defense off the field of Oklahoma. Defense got to be getting tired. Two of eight on third downs. Shotgun. Jason White maybe changing the play a bit. Vince Carter gets the center back to him. Blitz is on. The center's picking up pretty well. White fires a pass upfield. It's Trent Smith with a great diving catch. No, nope. to give it to him. He trapped him. Trapped the ball, rather. And the incomplete pass hit the ground at the 46. I thought it was a great catch as he dove for it, but his back was to us here in the press box. And then we saw the official from the far side run in and say okay. incomplete. So fourth down as the Sooners picked up one first down on the defensive holding. And back to kick will be Jeff Ferguson as Oklahoma maintains their four-point lead, 7-3, to three, with 4.42 to go in the third period. Nathan Vasher, who's from Texarkana, Texas, will be back to receive 19-5-11-180. Has been a punting duel in the third quarter. This will be the fourth punt. Fifth punt in the third period. Two by each punter is up to this point. Waiting on the deep snap from Painter. Gets it to him. Here's the kick. Oh, man, he really kicked that one. Beautiful. High, far. Basher takes it down to 23. They have him surrounded by one tackler. And Kalmus finally corrals him. Smith got him first. Roy Smith and then Kalmus ended the play at the 21-yard line. That's a great kick. 46-yard punt and minus three on the return. So Ferguson has punted 47 yards, 51 yards, and 46 yards, Merv, here in the third period. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it really is, and it's so critical when your uh, offense is not able to move the football. Uh, the other thing so far, the coverage has just been outstanding on uh, those length kicks. Uh, those guys have gotten down there and done a great job because their punt return man, uh, Vassar, whatever his name is, is really dangerous. Double tight end for Texas, two wide receivers left. Victor Ike is in the lone back behind quarterback Sims. Edwards is tight in right. Steve tight in left. Here's Sims. Fake to his running back. Oh, all kinds of time. Throws a long pass up the field and knocked away by Wolfolk. Great play by Wolfolk. Knocked it away from Roy Williams. That was perfectly timed by Andre Wolfolk. 6'1", 182, defensive corner. I tell you, that's that's a big play right there, Murph. You see why those coaches like those tall corners. Right. Uh, those five, eight guys uh, have trouble doing things like that. Williams is 6'5", Roy Williams of Texas, that is, and uh, Wolfolk, who's shorter than him, reached in, perfectly timed, knocked it away. Brandon Moore goes out, and the defensive back comes in. Antonio Perkins, extra defensive back, as Texas has second 10 from their own 21. And that's a big play, 4'21 to go third period. Four-man front for Oklahoma. Here's Chris Sims, rolling to his left, looking to pass, being chased, throws a pass up field, overthrown, way overthrown. Good pressure put on by the center's Heineke. Corey Heineke put good pressure on him. Intended for Tony Jeffrey, redshirt freshman from Houston, Pine Forest. And it is third down 10 for Texas from their own 21. They're in the south end zone. The Sooners crowd is really into it. 
That's a great job of the defense, but obviously a great job of Sims, too. Sometimes Bobby just has to throw it away, and I think that's what he was doing all the way on that pass. Sloan Thomas is in the lineup for Texas at wide receiver. See where he goes, and we also have a B.J. Johnson wide right. Sloan Thomas and Roy Williams left. Six of 13 on third down. Brett Robin is a tailback. Third down and 10 from the 21. Sooner showing blitz. They fumble the ball, and the flags are flowing. I think there was movement along the offensive front, and uh, Roy and Williams of Oklahoma recovered the loose ball, but illegal procedure against Texas. No play, so it's back to the 16. I tell you, the crowd here in the south end zone, which is all red, Oklahoma, does make a difference. Yeah, they're work. giving it their best shot. They really are. They've been behind it from the word go. It's been a struggle on offense. Uh, lost their quarterback, and uh, the defense has uh, given the crowd every reason to get excited, and they are doing their best. The ball is at the 16-yard line. Then they need to go to the 31 for the first down. So third and 15. And Chris Sims is just the type of guy that can complete a pass and get the first down. He's got that great arm. That's why you got to get some people in his face. Roy Williams and B.J. Johnson wide right. Wide left is Sloan. Play clock at 2. 1. And he just barely got the playoff. They pick up the blitz. The short pass caught at the 14. That's Robin to the 20, to the 22, and out of bounds. Way short of the first down as Roy Williams ran him down. Was that a man-sized tackle low in the open field? That was. Roy Williams uh, of, the, of the Sooners. We keep saying that because it's Roy Williams on both sides. That was a great play for him. And for the Sooners at the 23. So that looked like it was going a long way, and he only got seven. Needed 15, eight yards to go. And it's a fourth down play for Texas, and they're three and out. Defensive struggle indeed. Back deep is Fagan to receive. Brian Bradford back to kick, 3.37 in the clock running to go in the third period. Sooners leading 7-3. Oklahoma has a 10-minute. Oh, no. And uh, offside on Oklahoma as they put the punt in the air. Fagan takes it at the 40. And uh, tackle made up right about where he caught the ball. But the flag flew, and I think it's Brandon Shelby got in the neutral zone, and the flag came down. It will not be a first down, even if it is on Oklahoma, which we think it is. It would bring it to Offside the Offside defense. defense. You got just, the microphone working at halftime. You just can't do that, Bob. You, you know, too many times you've got less than five. Offside defense. Hilly Klein. First down, Texas. So it's first down. How, how do you figure that, Murray? I don't. That is a. That is I, not a good. Uh, that blows my mind. They got no confidence. Their kicker, I guess. A 38-yard punt. I guess the sooner run. Uh, return game has them word or something because they refuse the penalty that's a curious call even at that i think yeah, it really is i just uh, they, they probably uh, you know maybe you're concerned about getting it blocked or getting a run back and they had a uh, what'd you say 38 yarder right in their pocket and they uh, didn't want to chance it so the Sooners get good field position from their own 42 need to go to the texas 48 for the first down and jason white the quarterback this has got to be the drive, Bob. Something good's got to happen here. The field position is too good. Shotgun formation, 322 to go third period. Jason White backs up, blitzes on, shovel pass caught at the 40, 45, at the 50. To the left is Quentin Griffin at the 45, down to the Texas 40. What a great call on the blitz. Burned him on the blitz as it worked beautifully. The players came charging through the shovel pass to Quentin Griffin, and down he went after he gained from the 42 to the 40. 18 yards for Quentin Griffin on the shovel pass. It really opened up well, you know. For an instant there, you think, my goodness, they forgot to block the defensive end. Then you realize what's going on, and you say, thank goodness he rushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they say home, <laughs> then they nail you. That's the eighth first down for Oklahoma. They have it at the Texas 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Two wide receivers to both sides on the hash mark near side. Jason White hands the ball to Griffin into a pile. No gain. He lost two or three on the play, depending on where they spotted. Line of scrimmage was the 40. Looks like they're going all the way back to 44. Vince Carter, the center uh, yeah, he, center, was just nailed by Marcus Tubbs, who weighs 290. Carter, 274. He's limping back to the huddle, too. He's uh, looks a little bit uh, stung here. Lots of four. Puts it back at the 46 in Texas territory. Tony is now in the lineup. He replaced Damian Mackey, who had been in for that play. Clayton, who didn't, who has not made a reception this half, and Savage wide left. Trent Smith wide right. Jason White, the quarterback, gets the snap from the shotgun. They pick up the blitz pretty well. Fires a pass, caught at the 40. There's Clayton making a reception. It's first of the second half. Gets all the way down to the 34 before he's tackled. Gain of 
nine on the play. Baber is on the tackle. He's the defensive cornerback. Sixth catch for Clayton. And it's at the 34-yard line in Texas Territory. It'll be third and four. Very important play. Impressive throw by White right there. That's the long out. And that ball got there in very good time for Clayton to take it. From the 34-yard line in Texas Territory, Clayton wide left at seventh reception. Savage wide right, Trent Smith wide right. Shotgun formation, Tony and Griffin to either side of Jason White. There's Jason White back to pass. Throws a quick pass. Savage catches it at the 30. Has the first down to the 28-yard line. Danced for a couple of yards there after he made the catch at the 30. They have Tony in there with extra blocking, and that seemed yep, to help. Sure did, and uh, Carter or the right guard, I'm not sure which, got unhooked off of a guy in the middle and came out and picked up a late blitzing linebacker and gave him the time he needed. That's well done. They're calling up the 28, although in all honesty, it's closer to the 29. So Oklahoma at the Texas, let's be honest, 29, first and 10. Three wide receivers left, one to the right, and no tight end. Jason White will need to get rid of it in a hurry. He gets out of the pocket, gets away from the rush. He'll run down the sideline. He cuts it to 28. He spins to the 25, and he's out of bounds inside the 25 to the 22. Broke the tackle from Corey Redding. Well, that's that mobility Jason White has that perhaps Nate Hibble does not. And again, I'm not criticizing Hibble because he has things that White doesn't. Uh, but the mobility really is uh, showing itself for Jason White. Well, it's uh, it certainly helped, you know, and I think that uh, we'll see another bootleg or two before the game's over or a keep off the draw play. Either play coming out of that shotgun, Bob, before the fake, a wonderful sense of timing. It occurs late enough the defensive end will commit himself a lot of times. The ball is at the 22, need to go about three yards downfield to the 20 to the 19 and we have under a minute to go in the third quarter here's a split backs now rare a rarity as jason white hands the ball off on the the griffins sweeping the right side he got pulled down just a yard shy of the first down Corey redding who's really impressed us today at defensive end talked a little trash after he made that tackle by the way and uh, the ball is placed at the texas 20 it's third and a yard, yard and a half to go with 36 seconds to go third period. Sooners will have the win to Merv in the fourth period. Clayton yes. wide left, excuse me, Merv, two wide receivers right. Under center is White. Quarterback sneak, first down, he got it. That's a good job of Vince Carter, the Waco, yeah. Texas youngster, the center, true freshman. First down. First down. Okay. Isn't it amazing, Bob, how they never give your team a good spot and they always give the opposition a good spot? I said here, I'd say, why can't we get the same good spots they get? <laughs> what? I wonder why that is. The clock is running, and the centers will let it uh, run down to end the quarter unless Texas calls a timeout, which I doubt they will. We're now down to nine seconds. And the only bad thing is the centers will have to go down to Texas's north end to start the uh, 19-yard line. The crowd is really yelling, oh, you, as you may be able to hear in the background. That's the end of the third quarter. Back with the fourth quarter. Sooners lead 7-3. This is the Oklahoma Sooner Networks for the Sooners. Four penalties, 35 yards, Oklahoma. Five penalties, 35 yards for Texas. Time of possession, 20-30 for Oklahoma. 20 minutes, 13 seconds. And now it's only four minutes difference. And uh, the Sooners come out as we start the fourth period, ready to go. Jason White will have Tony to his left, Griffin to his right in the shotgun, and two wide receivers right and one to the left. Now let's see. We have officials stepping in. We're not quite ready for play as yet. There, Let's uh, there, there tell you, Power play. the handoff goes to Griffin down the middle, and the draw play gets him a yard or two, maybe. The line of scrimmage was the 19, Marcus Tubbs on the uh, stop, and it'll be very close to the line of scrimmage, I believe. We're back with you rather quickly from uh, that the power play of the game, and uh, no gain, we'll call it. They're going to put a lot of people up there. It's very difficult to run the ball or uh, or to throw those uh, swing passes to the tailback. They're going to have to throw it down the field here a little bit if they want to get the thing in the end zone. Trent Smith wide right. We have two wide receivers left on a second down, a little less than 10 yards to go. Clayton and Savage are left at the Texas 18 approximately, just upfield from it. Jason White gets the shotgun snap. Jason White looks to his right, throws a pass. Trent Smith makes a great catch it out of bounds at the 10-yard line. That's because he is 6'4 and a half. And Quentin Jammer is 6'1. The pass was high. That perfect pass by Jason White and a fine catch by Trent Smith. It's inside the 11, just short of the 10, and will ring up a third down and uh, about a yard to go. That's a great play. This is a tough one right here. Uh, you know, they've shown the option. They might come with it again. I wouldn't be surprised they won't throw that spot pass to Smith again like they've done. Third down, a yard to go from the 10-yard line. Offset eye formation. 
under center this time is Jason White changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Waiting the snap from center from the 10, need a yard to go. Here's White. Option, pitches it back to Griffin, needs to use some speed, puts the stiff arm, down the five and inside the five-yard line. At the three is where they're marking it. Boy, that was strictly the speed of Quentin Griffin, who got out around the corner. He runs the 40 in 4.37, and he needed that speed there, Murph. Needed every bit of it because uh, the ball was pitched way too early for a proper option, and uh, uh, I think some people out here on the edge did a pretty good job of blocking to give him a start. The uh, Texas knew exactly what was coming, but they couldn't stop it. That's right. a good thing. This is going to be a tough spot here for the Sooners because uh, the, typically they'll give the ball to Griffin up the middle. But I tell you, this defense is, features some superior athletes. I don't know whether they can get by with that or not. From the three, first and goal to go. Offset eye, Griffin at tailback. Tony, the up back. Two wide receivers right and one to the left. And now there's Tony in motion. Here's Griffin with the ball. Sweeping right side, needs a block, cannot get it, will be thrown for a loss. They were outnumbered. The defense had more players than Tony could handle trying to block in front of him. And the loss goes from the three, probably back to the eight or nine. Let's see where they mark it. Tyrone Jones gets credit for the tackle. They'll put it down at the seven. So a loss of four. Second down goal to go from the seven. Mm -hmm. Sooners need six or seven points here rather than three. Oh, they think. really do. Need it bad. And uh, that's a bad sign right there on first down. I, you know, it's just Texas just runs too well. They're too talented to get in a sideline chase with him very often. Two wide receivers to the left, two to the right. Shotgun formation from the Texas 7. Second down, goal to go. Now Griffin shifts to the left of Jason White. It's in the north end zone where the crowd is Texas. Here's Jason White. Looks down, downfield. Lobs a pass the end zone. Oh, it's overthrown. Had a man, threw it behind him. Clayton couldn't get to it. That was not Clayton's fault. That was a, not a good pass from Jason White as he threw it behind him and too far. Had Nathan Basher uh, beaten on the play, but couldn't get it to him. Oh, that was their chance right there, Bob. A little better throw. He certainly had a couple of steps on the defender. Third and goal from the Texas seven-yard line. Here comes a play in from the bench as Damian Mackey is replaced by Chris Tony. Play clock's at 10. Jason White just will call timeout. He couldn't. He didn't have time to call the play, so the Sooners have to burn a timeout with 13-11 to go in the fourth period. This is the 13th play of the drive. They have had the ball almost five minutes, seven. They'll probably no doubt go the field goal route if they don't score a touchdown here. Shotgun, Jason White, the quarterback, Tony and Griffin on either side. Here's uh, Jason White looking to pass, lobs it in the end zone to Clayton and incomplete. Not even close. He was very well covered by Roderick Babers, Babus, Babers rather. And it's a fourth down, so the field goal unit checks in. Well, the Sooners had a great drive from their own 42 down to the three, then lost back to the seven, and there's that first down that Merv Johnson always talks about. When you lose yardage on first down, it's a bad sign, isn't it, Merv? Especially when you're inside the 20, because uh, you can't uh, find the space for your passing game that you can when you're back up field. 25-yard field goal attempt for, for Duncan. And from this distance, he is four or five. Snap, balls down, kick is in the air, and it is no good. Good gracious, alive. Can't believe that. Tim Duncan, who's had such a great year kicking, misses a 25-yard field goal, and that just gives tremendous momentum to Texas because the Sooners have driven from their own 42 all the way down to the three, and they come away with not a single point. Wow. Just kills you, Bob. Just kills you. Just kills you. The defense has just done such a great job, but they can't do it forever against this quarterback and these receivers. The ball is at the, te at the Texas 20. First down, 10 yards to go. Chris Sims asking the crowd to quiet now as the Sooner defense once again called on. Texas trail 7-3 as the Sooners squander an opportunity. Empty backfield on first down. And a fumble, and there's a pileup, and I think Texas recovers. He fell on it. He took his... He saw Williams blitzing, I think, Roy Williams. They tried to get out of there faster, and they forgot one thing, the, the football. No huddle. Three-yard loss back to the 17. Second down, 13 for Texas from their own 17. Five wideouts in the game. They'll try the same play. That's Barry six. Holloman now is in there. Three-man rush for the Sooners. Sooners change their defense, and Texas uses their last timeout. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Oklahoma yeah. calls the timeout. Now, a straight called it up there at the right corner. Yep. 
did not have enough men on the field, I think. I believe that's what uh, we picked up. Let's take a break. We have 12.31 to go fourth period. It's Oklahoma 7, Texas 3. This is the Oklahoma Sooner. Down 13 for Texas from their own 17-yard line. Empty backfield. Wide receivers, two left, three right. Sims drops back to pass. Blitz is on pass, underthrown, and incomplete at the 20. A late hit by Barry Holloman, and Sims went down, and the flag went down, so it'll be a penalty roughing the passer on Oklahoma. First rough passer, 15 yards. 15-yard penalty will give Texas a first down. Heineke is who it is that was guilty of the roughing the kicker, or the passer. Wow, that's tough, Murr. Yeah, it's tough to get beat, but it's tougher when you beat yourself. You can't miss field goals and then do things like this. That's only the second first down for Texas this half. The defense is just giving great effort, uh, flying around, breaking up passes, doing all the right things, and then you have something like that happen. It just kills you. All right, Texas gets the first down then, only their second one this half, or in the fourth period. They have the ball thrown 32. Two wide receiver, one wide receiver right, three to the left. Sims flat pass, it's caught. B.J. Johnson catches it, and he's tripped up and out of bounds into the Oklahoma bench. They spotted at the 33, I believe. That's where he stepped out of bounds. So a gain of a yard. Andre Wolfolk tripped him up there. Nice play by Andre. He's played a great game defensively for Oklahoma. Second down for Texas and nine yards to go from their own 33-yard line. Wolfolk did a fabulous job of escaping that uh, guy blocking on him. He came, he's made a decision to come underneath him and then got back outside and pushed him out of bounds. Dvorak and uh, Holloman out and uh, Klein and Harris in. Victor Ike now tailback, second and nine for Texas from their own 33-yard line. Wide receivers, one to the right, one to the left, and we have tight end right side. Sims, deep drop this time, good protection, out collapses, throws a pass, caught and tackled immediately. Wolfolk with a great tackle, boom! As soon as the pass got to Victor I, he's hurt, but Wolfolk really nailed him at the, uh, gained about two yards, I think, at the 35 is where they put it. Jimmy, Jimmy Wilson, Wilkerson had good yeah, pressure. He stroked that pro quarterback too, pretty good. <laughs> so the ball is at the 35, and the injured player, Victor Ike, who made the catch. They're still tending to him. He took a pop. Register to win a Bob Stoops autographed football at participating Napa Auto Parts stores throughout the listening area. No purchase necessary. Still tending to the injured player. Remember, next week is a night game on the road at Lawrence, Kansas, as Big 12 play continues for the Oklahoma Sooners. Texas will play Oklahoma State in Stillwater next week. Those are the, where the two teams will play their games next week. 4.30 will be our airtime next week. Victor Ike now being helped off the field, but he looks to be just stunned a little bit. He's, he'll be okay. And checking, replacing him is Brett Robin, who is a third down specialist, more of a receiver than a running back, really. Third down play, nine for Texas. Six of 14 on third down conversions. They have it at their own 35. 11.38 to go, fourth period. Sooner 7-3 lead. Marched all the way from their own 42 down to the three. Couldn't score and missed a field goal of 25 yards the last time they had the ball. Sooners have really dominated play here in the second half as Texas has only two first downs at this moment. And now the officials coming over to say something to... Or they're going on the phones to talk upstairs. Let's see what this is all about. Probably the clock adjustment. That's usually what it is, isn't it, Murray, on a situation like this? Yeah, it sure is. They're not uh, doing the instant uh, review like they do in the pros. We know that. So it's uh, something to do, I'm sure, with the clock. There uh, wasn't anything on the play out of the ordinary other than the fact that the clock may continue to run. They put it about 40 seconds back on the clock. 12-13 is what it says now. Left in the fourth period, 7-3, Texas leads. Ball at the Texas 35. Third down play. They need to go to the 42 for the first down. Seven yards to go. Third down play. Big third down play. Two wide receivers left. One to the right. Aren't they all big? Under center is Sims. One back behind him is Williams. And now Sims raises up. Now he's under center. He gets the snap. The Sooners have the blitz. The pass is caught to Roy Williams. And he gets the first down at the 45. They gave the blitz away too quick there. He knew and, what was uh, coming. Heineke and Straight made the tackle, but Williams got to 10 yards, and Texas has their second first down at their own 45-yard line. Well, free safety uh, walked up in there. He knew that, uh, you know, it was going to be a blitz, Bob, and so he also knew then that uh, Williams out here had single coverage. The free safety wasn't going to become involved, and he got it over here. That was Roy Williams' first reception of the second half. He's wide right, and we have two wide receivers left, Johnson and Sloan. First and 10, Texas. I, or Ivan Williams is behind quarterback 
Oh, that's Brett Robbins stays in there running back. And it's a draw play to Robbins. He's hit immediately. Yes. And that's a great play by Tommy Harris, the true freshman from Killeen, Texas. Went to Ellison High School, lost two. He was all over Brett Robin. He ran right through some block. I'll tell you, the guy uh, never got leather on him. Second down 12 from the 43 with 11.08. Clock running, 11.06. Texas breaks their huddle. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. One of those wide receivers left is Roy Williams, and the other is Sloan. So Sooners are showing blitz here. Let's see if they do indeed. Sam's under center. Here's Sims dropping back. The blitz is on. Texas picks it up. Sims steps up. He'll run with it first time today, and he leaps upfield. It's sort of uh, like diving in a swimming pool, and let's see where they put the ball. I don't know where they think he came to rest. They'll move it back. Uh, he gains to the 46 in Sooner territory. So from the Oklahoma 43, he gets 11 yards approximately, exactly, to the 46 in Oklahoma territory. Brings up third and a yard to go. Here comes Big Williams back in, a tailback. That was Sims uh, just run up the middle of, as he dodged the blitz. Now it's the I formation for Texas, the straight I. A few times they've used this formation. Tied in on the left. Roy Williams in motion from left to right. One yard to go. Sooners packed in there tight. Give it to Williams. He's hit hard, and they got it. Nailed him back. Uh, he's going to give it to him. And they come, they come up field and give him to the 45. Give me a physical break. They just nailed him and knocked him back. Coach Stoops is furious, as I don't blame him. That was a terrible spot. Never got to the 45. It did not appear. But that's where they put it, and it'll be a first down for Texas. But Coach Stoops is really upset with the headlines. But so they bring the chain into measure, but it appears that he has it. Merv, you're strangely silent here. Well, I'm just upset that we can't get a little better spot than we've been getting. Uh, it seems like Texas uh, is getting some wonderful spots. Maybe, again, I'm prejudiced, you think? Well, I was, that one was uh, seemed rather obvious, but the officials are down there right on the play, so we'll give them credit. Yeah, they do a great job. From the 45 in Oklahoma Territory, Texas has their third first down this drive. They're 14th in the game. And here is Brandon Moore out of the lineup as as uh, Antonio Perkins is in there. And Texas has two wide receivers left and one to the, or to the right and one to the left. Tied in Scape on the right side from the Oklahoma 45. Chris Sims back to pass. Throws. Caught by the tight end Scape. And tackled short of the first down, but it'll get about eight or nine yards. See where they spot the ball this time. Looks like at the 37 in Sooner territory. That's an eight-yard pickup. And brings up second down two for Texas at the Oklahoma 37. This drive started after Oklahoma missed a 25-yard field goal at the Texas 20. Roughing the passer on penalty on Oklahoma on second and 13 was a key happening in this drive. Texas center is Matthew Anderson up over the ball from the Oklahoma 37. Single tailback, Ivan Williams, they give it to him. Override tackle, he jumps over a line of scrimmage and gets the first down at the 34. Pick up of three, tackle by Kenny Lehman, or Teddy Lehman rather, at the 34 yard line. That's the fourth first down the drive as Texas is on the move and the center defense needs to stop him one more time. Well, the failure to get the touchdown down here a while ago has created all this because they can be patient. They can, uh, you know, they can go for it. They can run the ball with a four-point uh, deficit. Had the Sooners scored a touchdown, this whole series would have set up completely different. Texas, first down, 10 yards to go from the Oklahoma 34. One back behind quarterback Chris Sims. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Back to pass Sims. He throws away on the throw and intended for Roy Williams. A lot of pressure by Lehman and Calmus. And uh, may have... Hit his arm just as he threw the ball. was way underthrown, incomplete. Second and 10 for Texas from the Oklahoma 34. Of course, Texas, with a field goal, cannot tie the game should they fail to score a touchdown in this drive. Now here is Brett Robin checking in. He's playing more today than he has in previous games. He's a kinesiology major from Austin Westlake, 25-11-190, a redshirt sophomore. But Brett Robin is the running back. Second down play from the 34 in Sooner Territory and 10 yards to go. Under center is Chris Sims. Chris Sims gets the exchange, looks to his left, throws, ball knocked down by Jimmy Wilkerson. Wilkerson stands 6'2 and a half, and he raised the arm up and knocked the ball down. Third down 10 from the Oklahoma 34. And a big hand up in there by Holloman, too. Uh, gave him, uh, and that, this is the thing the coaches have emphasized all week, get those hands up because they throw a lot of short drop passes, and if a guy like Holloman gets his hands up, 
It's very difficult to see where the ball needs to go. Third and ten for Texas. They're probably uh, there four down territory here, but here are a couple of big plays. Just bigger than the last one at this time. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Chris Sims, four-man rush. Not much pressure. He fires up long, long past the end zone, and it's intercepted, I think, by Oklahoma. By Roy Williams, he picks it off. Intercepted by Williams in the end zone. The pass was intended for Roy Williams of Texas, and Roy Williams of Oklahoma picked it off. Went up and took it away, Murr. Well, people were wondering if our Roy Williams would be covering that guy today, and uh, I guess now they know. Roy Williams intercepted Roy Williams. And uh, for Roy Williams, <laughs> that is his third interception of the year. It was in the end zone. Ball comes out to the 20. A key play for the center. Still with that 7-3 lead with 8-33. They go, great effort by Roy Williams as we look at the replay at the south end zone. There's two... Uh, Two outstanding athletes running side by side on that play, Bob. And, uh, ironically, they had the same name. We're, we're going to have to make a mistake, of, or correct our mistake. Antonio Perkins gets the interception. Well, he's an outstanding athlete, too. 28, not 38. We apologize for that. From the 20, a shotgun. Hand off to Griffin. Going left. Breaks up field. Gets a couple of yards to the 22. Well, it was an interception. That's the key. And uh, Roy Williams has played a great game, and that was Antonio Perkins. And I believe that's his first interception of the year. Let's see. It's his second. Well, Bob, you were talking about earlier about having difficulty identifying their two tailbacks, 26 and 28. You got the same problem, 30, 38 and 32. But we got, the, we got it right that the center's intercepted. That's the key. <laughs> second yeah. down, eight yards to go for the centers at the 22-yard line. 7.55 to go. In the fourth period, center's on top, 7-3, shotgun formation. Jason White gets the snap, looks upfield, still looking, throws in the flat, caught by Griffin at the 19, to the 20, can't, can't duke his way free and is pushed down after he gets the 21-yard uh, line. Well, may have lost a yard. Let's see where they mark it. Quentin uh, has the ability to have a lot of people missing, but these Texas guys, today at least, have been real good tacklers, and he can't seem to to get free uh, once they hit him. Of course, he's very small in stature. Got some outstanding athletes uh, back there. They not only uh, are able to move quickly and react quickly, but they hit with a thud, too. Five of 13 on third downs for the Sooners. They have it at their own 21, and it is nine yards to go as he lost a yard on that previous play. There's Jason White from the shotgun, retreating, looking to pass. He's chased out of the pocket. He'll run upfield. He's at the 20, 25, 30, and out of bounds. And he got the first down at the 31 with great speed. He does have good speed. As we said, he runs a 40 and 4-6. He just turned on the speed and got 10 yards from the 21 to the 31, and the Sooners have a key first down. I tell you, that is huge. That is huge. His left back, I don't know which one it was, did a terrible job of blocking on that play. And... Uh, but he's the defend, yeah, the defender. Uh, he juked him, and uh, oh, it made a great decision. Savage had a great block that sprung him really around the left side. Three wide receivers left, and one to the right on first down number twelve for the centers at their own thirty-one. Shotgun back to pass. Jason White shovel pass to Quentin Griffin. He the man hits him. He gets away from that one guy and gets up to the thirty-five. Got away from uh, Everett Rawls, so it was Everett Rawls, a weak side linebacker who was, uh, is from Houston, from Texas City. Vasher finally made the tag, but Quentin Griffin made him miss him that time. He sure did. And he got four or five on the play. See where they spot it. It's at the 35. He can make you miss, and his balance is just beyond belief. Second down play and six yards to go for the first down at the 35-yard line. In Oklahoma's end of the field. Sooners leading 7-3, 6-22 to go, fourth period. Shotgun, Jason White backs up. The rush is on. He'll run with it. Big hole up the middle. 35, 40, 45. He comes skidding down at the 50-yard line. No flag as they, they are furious because they thought he hit him with a helmet. First 15 yards and a first down for Jason White and showing us his great running ability today. He's, uh, he's very elusive. And uh, when you have to cover a seater, the receivers as tight as you do in this scheme, uh, oftentimes there's cracks. Uh, Sam's had a, a nice run for 10 yards while ago himself. Uh, it looked like Corey Redding speared him, but uh, he no did. call. He did, but uh, it's it's late in the game and a tight game. We won't get that call. 
5.59 to go, fourth period. Fagan, wide right, as is Trent Smith, wide right. And Josh Norman, flea wide to the right. First and ten centers from the midfield stripe. Jason White under center. Pitches back to Griffin. Sweeping right, gets a nice block on the corner. 50, and bumps into one tackle, gets by with another, and gets down to about the 46. Now, there's that uh, balance that you talked about. He was bumped like a yeah. pinball and just bounced right off. Got another yard to the 46, I believe. And he stayed in bounds, which is becoming, as I watch that clock, more and more critical, Bob. Second down play with 5.26 to go in the fourth period. The ball at the Texas 46. Second down play in six. Jason White looking to the sideline. Sinners uh, doing it on the ground. Here's Josh Norman being replaced by Chris Tony. And the Sooners now break their huddle. Trent Smith and Savage wide right. Wide left is Clayton. Mark Clayton has really played well today. Shotgun formation. Texas showing blitz. Here's Jason White back to pass. He looks. He throws a pass. Caught the 43. Savage at the 40. Jukes the man. Gets the 35. Gets inside the 35 to the 33. First down Sooners at the 33. Maybe even 32. That was. He was wide open. Jason White's mobility, I can't say enough about how that has gotten him extra time in avoiding the rush and avoiding a blitz. I think we need to give the protection to Attaboy on that one too, Bob. It gave him that extra time he needed. And, uh, and uh, you know, that little spot deal to Trent Smith and his wide receivers was so good last week late in the game. From the 33 in Texas territory, it was a pickup of 13 yards to Savage. And it's first and 10, number 14, third in this drive from the Texas 33. Sooners lead 7-3, 4-33 to go fourth period. Shotgun, Jason White blitz, avoids the blitz, goes to his left. He runs the 30, he runs the 25. He's inside the 25 to the 23. Corey Redding on the tackle. Nine yards, I think he got. We again have to wait and see where they spot it. The umpire picks up, he'll move it back. In between the 23 and 24 and uh, so it'll be a second down play and about a yard to go or less. Now here's where the change comes about. We've seen it three different times today. At this point, Texas is going to quit defending and bring everybody. You know, it's going to be a deal where the yards we've seen, the last 25 or 30 yards, are not going to be there, I don't think. Inside four minutes, Jason White, quarterback sneak, easily has the first down. The line just surged forward. Got him from the 24 down to about the 22. Then there was a pile up there, so again, <laughs> we'll see where they spotted. Sooners with the... 15th first down and the fourth one in this drive and the ball is at the 21 yard line so they, they give him three yards got a good spot there great play by Wes Sims from Weatherford big wedge there 304 a 304 pound here uh, Sims is Trent Smith wide right three wide receivers wide left first and ten centers at Texas 21 there's no time no timeouts left, so Jason does not have, and Sooner's going to have to take a delay of game. That's just the inexperience of a freshman quarterback, not knowing for sure that you don't have a timeout. So the Sooners will take a five-yard penalty, but that really doesn't hurt that bad <laughs> because uh, the passing of White is, uh, is effective. Play probably came in late. Merv, what comment do you have there? Well, I, you know, that's obviously, as uh, you hear the announcers talk on TV all the time, you've got to save those timeouts for lots of different reasons. And we've used a couple on defense this half that have wound up, I think, really hurting us. I, I think that's the first one Jason's used, isn't it? From the 26, the first and 15. From the Texas 26, shotgun formation. 3.08 to go fourth period. Sooners lead 7-3. Jason White wants to run with it. He keeps the ball. He tries to juke his way, and he's just trying to run time off the clock and they he'll get maybe uh well i think he's gonna lose a yard as they spotted maybe the 27. so it'll be second and 16 from the texas 27. now if they're to get anywhere close to bow line bob they're gonna have to throw it over this because they have gone away from any kind of a semblance of defending now and they're applying pressure and that's what they've done every time they've hit the 20 yard line that's why that uh, last time we were down here that first down play and lost the yardage killed us I have a feeling they're just going to try to run the clock out. Well, well, they'd like to, but uh, Texas has three timeouts. That may hamper that deal. Here is Jason White firing a pass. It's almost intercepted. Off the hands of Clayton, one of those tip drills, and almost into the hands of, uh, that's Brooks, Ahmad Brooks, who almost picked it off. Third and 16 from the Texas 27. Bad news, clock stops with 2.21 yeah. to go. If you're not where you can see this, so if you're just listening to the broadcast, he had an unblocked defender coming from behind. It wasn't a bad throw on his part. He got nailed from his blind side right there as he, as he released the ball. Texas sends in another defensive back, I believe, and that will be in the person of uh, 
Derek, Derek Johnson, extra linebacker it is. All right, it's third and 16 from the Texas 27. 2.21 to go, fourth period. Jason White in the shotgun. Big, big play. White, pretty good protection this time. Now, will be run out of the... Now he fires a pass deep in the end zone. Fagan, too high for him, but he really basically just wanted to make sure it wasn't intercepted. And now it's a fourth down play and 16 from the Texas 27 with 2.12 to go in the fourth quarter. What do you do here, Burr? Oh, you know, they're at the 30. Probably... I don't know. I think he probably run a play. Our field goal kicker. I guess you got to try to kick a field goal. The ball's at. Uh, it's going to be. A, it's at the 27. 28. Yeah, got it. It's with the wind, and so they'll try a field goal. Yeah, try to hit it and hope you hit it and uh, put it in a situation where it's a 45-yard field goal. It's tough when you don't have Attempt. confidence and his ability to make it. That's there we go. Jason White is the holder. He's the quarterback. Gets a snap, pushes it back, and it's a pooch kick. And Texas catches it the three yard line. Oh, they handled he it. caught it. They helped us. They helped and us. helped the Sooners as Nathan Basher caught the ball at the three, and that's where it'll be. And that was a bad mistake on Basher's part. 97 yards away. 25 yard pooch kick by Tim Duncan. We forgot about that play, didn't we, Bob? We did. <laughs> and all our astute. I'm glad the coaches didn't forget about it. So 97 yards away, and timeout uh, is taken and we'll take a break this they have 97 yards to traverse in order to take the lead with a touchdown they don't need the extra point because it's 7-3 and let's see the Sooners got to be playing a little soft in the secondary not letting people get behind them ball at the Texas three a lot of pressure on the players on both teams Bob under center is Chris Sims one back behind him Sooners showing blitz Sims may be changing the play gets the exchange retreats in the end zone and the ball <laughs> A touchdown, Oklahoma. Jimmy Lehman on the interception as Sims was hit. The ball went in the air. Roy Lehman. Williams. Roy Williams the one that busted Roy in. Roy Williams busted in. And then it popped in the air. Kenny Lehman at the two went in. And the Sooners scored a touchdown. How about that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. They, they didn't back off at all, did they, Bob? They didn't back off like I said they would. They really charged in. And Roy Williams knocked that ball clear. Went straight up in the air. Teddy Lehman was right there, caught it, and it's a touchdown. Wow. That, fr from the, uh, the two-yard return. Fifth game in a row, the defense scores a touchdown, 13-3, to and here's the extra point at the south end zone. Ball is down, the kick is up, and it's good. Sooners on top, 14-3 to by 11 points. Oh, doctor. Oh, no, we're, we're, we're so excited. We're so excited in this uh, booth. <laughs> the uh, verb, uh, you, you said it best. T tell what you said about Roy. He's tried that before. What happens? Uh, he usually, uh, put, you know, he scares the quarterback, but somebody blocks him at the legs, and he goes right on his face. But he's such a good athlete that uh, he really gets your attention. This time he was rewarded handsomely when he tipped that ball. I keep thinking, no, Roy's just going to grab one out of here and walk in with it. You know, I, he's kind of like Superman to me. It's all set up by the pooch kick by Duncan. Got to give exactly him credit. Right. And then the Bashers' uh, mistake for Texas in catching it at the three instead of letting it go in the end zone. Here's the kickoff. Oh, man. Deep onside kick. And taken at the 13-yard line or eight, and up the 15 to the 20. And still on his feet, the 30. And then somebody Layman. wiped him off. Layman. Uh, Layman wiped him out after Basher, who has to be upset with himself for catching that one down to three, about a 19-yard return and a very poor kickoff with the win. Well, that's the thing we said at halftime. You know, whoever uh, comes away best in the kicking game this half, uh, certainly with our missed field goal, you know, it's, uh, you know, we weren't feeling too good about the possibilities of doing that, but uh, maybe we made up for it. From the 31 is where it is after that return. Texas first and 10. Sooners lead 14 to three, 152 to go. Five wideouts, empty backfield. Sooners have a three-man line. Now they probably will be laying back. They are indeed. And back to pass is Sims. He throws up the middle. And it's intercepted <laughs> at the 50-yard line. Who is? Who? Roy Williams. <laughs> and this time it is Roy Williams. <laughs> so Sims picked off. And Roy Williams uh, thick intercepted a pass intended for Roy Williams. Bob, I'll give you a little stat here. All right. Sims has been intercepted his last three possessions. And Texas has. <laughs> His last three passes have been intercepted, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I tell you, Roy Williams is all world. 
He just right in front of the intended receiver, Roy Williams, and picked it off, and Oklahoma has the ball turned 47. We're Incredible. Still, we're still going to have to execute a punt, Bob. Again, they've got all three of their timeouts sitting there. But Murr, we have 146 to go, oh, leading 14 to 3. The Sooners just got to hang on to the football and then not get their punt blocked. All right, here is uh, Jason White handing the ball off to Griffin. He goes to his right, trying to get outside. He gets to the 50. Stays in bounds, three-yard pickup. The reason he didn't go outside is because he wanted to make sure he stayed in bounds, too, I promise you. And as we're back with you, the Sooners have run a play. And Griffin went over right tackle, got a yard to the 49, and Texas called another timeout. They're, of course, we'll use their timeouts after every play. 129 to go. Oklahoma leading 14 to 3. And Merv uh, and I were talking during the break. Merv, you made the comment this is the best the defense have played all year. I best they've played, you know, I, how could you make anything better than the uh, Orange Bowl? But I want to tell you, they have played a great game from start to finish. Uh, I don't know where uh, their coaches would have a chance to criticize them. That they've played so well, they've hung in there so tough. Uh, you know, the offense uh, failing to score and get points the last couple of times down the field uh, mm -hmm. could be a downer for a lot of defenses, and they just came right out and did their job. Jason White, the quarterback for the Sooners, on a third down play from the Texas 49. Need to go down to the 43. Here's a handoff to Griffin. Sooners just burning up the clock, and Griffin hitting the backfield and, and put down with 123 to go, and Texas calls their final time. You know, don't worry about anything except kick it in the end zone just so that there's no chance to... Nathan Basher is the single safety back. He's the lad that caught the ball for three on that pooch kick. 1.23 to go as we wait the deep snap from Ben Painter. And the player, the special teams pointing out blocks that they want to make. Here's the snap back to Jeff Ferguson, a little bit low. Ferguson puts it in the air. Not a particularly great kick, taken at the 13-yard line by Basher, and he is hit immediately by Roy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's amazing. He's amazing. He is just a great, great player. A 38-yard punt and a zero return. This is unofficial, but they have six yards in losses. They have uh, six yards in losses on punt returns for the game, it appears, uh, according to Terry McLemore, our statistician. The ball is 15-yard uh, line, Texas Territory. I'm looking here, Merv. They did get into Oklahoma Territory the se second half only. And they have not been beating up on cupcakes. How many times can we say that? Sims throws in underneath and uh, out of bounds, stop the clock. And jump. Game 6 o'clock kickoff. Air Airtime 4.30 for Merv Johnson. To answer your questions with Ron Benton. We'll just be at this time next week about ready to tee it up. That exactly. At the 20 yard line, second and 10 for, or second and five rather for Texas. Empty backfield again. Three man rush. Now back to pass Sims. He is hit and they'll get him. Jimmy, Jimmy Wilkerson. Third sack of the uh, afternoon for him. Fourth for the team and the ball is at the 18. Three man rush and they got the sack. That's got a. Well, it's got a lot of coverage down there. It's hard to pick out a receiver. You know, it happens more than you think. Seven yards to go, third down. Sims again back to pass with no huddle. Throws far side, way over throws. It stops the clock and brings up fourth down. We have 39 seconds to go. Boy, late tuners in. That that play, Roy Williams, it's got to be a headliner. Boy, <laughs> jumping over the center, knocking Sims into the next county, and the ball goes straight up and... Teddy Lehman gets it and scores the touchdown. We'll, we'll get that on the highlight film, Bob. You I'll can look at it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then we'll put it at the front and the middle, and in case you haven't seen it, put it at the back mm -hmm. of the highlight film. Fourth and seven there. Last chance for Texas to get on the scoreboard. Sims under center again, the empty backfield. And here's Sims. And in is uh, <laughs> sacked him again. <laughs> Corey, Corey Klein. Klein gets the sack that time. So the center is just dominating on defense, just absolutely dominant on defense. And uh, so the ball is at the 12 yard line in Texas territory, center's in possession. And knowing Coach Stoops like I do, the center's just touch a knee and, and end it all, right Merv? You bet you, you bet you. I don't think he wants to do anything else but get that 35 seconds off the clock. It's just been a terrific effort by Coach Stoops and the center defensive unit, and there's so many heroes. Well, how about Jason White coming Jason in White. Uh, cold uh, for his first extensive action? Jason White touches the knee down. 
Texas can't stop the clock. And they'll wait to reset the uh, clock. Yeah, right now they'll reset it, and that'll, that'll use up the... There doesn't need to be any more plays, and the Sooners have beaten Texas for the second year in a row for the first time since the Barry Switzer era. And uh, it wasn't 63-14, but it was sweeter, if you ask me. 14-3. to three. They held them without a touchdown, That's Bob. right, exactly. That's, Good point. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive, the way they've been going up and down the field. A terrific win. And there is officially the game over. Oklahoma wins it by the score of 14-3 to three over the Texas Longhorns.